imagined. Uh, you know what? You don't get any arguments that way, and that's worth something right there. Well, you get fewer arguments, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're challenging arguments to win. Okay, here I am, double-clicking on things and opening things, and it'll be great. You'll love it. There you go. I'm looking for an online game because I'm assuming somebody else is. Yep, I've got it up. It's our usual Sunday fun day file oh, here. Yeah. Yep, uh, yep. I mean, what other name could you use? I'm not going to begin a long file, and I'm going to zoom out because I can't see nothing. That's, right. that's the best go. way. That's the, what, uh, that's what we, we call fog yet? of war. Yes, indeed. <laughs> zoom out so far that you're just kind of hand-waving in the general direction of the enemy. Mm -hmm. That ought to be good enough for something. Yep. I am awaiting your, your surrender any time. I'm really trying to figure out how we haven't won yet. Oh, we really have, but he just hasn't. You know, conceded uh, that's true. Game. Yeah, I he am. He hasn't acknowledged the I obvious have not truth. acknowledged it. Nope. Okay. All right then. Well, we got that going for us. And one of those. Nice. One of those heretics there. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, um, before we start, I'm going to tell you that you know apparently we have. Um, an I allow game or two on the way here shortly. That is correct. I've got, I, I'd seen um, a post from Uve with yep. Sound of the Drums saying that yep. uh, stuff is, is floating across the ocean even as we speak. Right. Um, so we right. should be getting something landing here in the port of Los Angeles and hopefully the the uh, dock workers won't go on strike and we'll actually be Again. able to. <laughs> Right. Yes. Well, you know what? It's better than the poor Europeans because they're going to have to go around Cape Horn. Yeah, the exactly. Red Sea's closed. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. No, I, I, uh, I had somebody recommended because, of course, we got that in Winter's Victory coming out uh, around the same time. Uh, somebody recommended Crisis in the Snows. Oh, okay. Which is the, uh, the the Ilau campaign by a fellow named James R. Arnold. Hmm. And uh, the book was not inexpensive, but I actually, uh, when I realized that it was, it was actually slightly cheaper to purchase it directly from him, I just went ahead and did that. Had a little bit of a three-ring circus with the United States Postal Service who sent it to 312 Another Street, not hmm. 312, the street I live on. Right. Uh, but it has showed up, and I have not yet had the chance to open it, but it's one of those things that... You know you're going to appreciate the game a whole lot more if you've got all that background, right? Right. So I'm looking forward to getting that red here. It looks good. Looks uh, looks like it'll be good. It comes uh, comes well regarded. So that's that's what I got going on. Cool. And I've got uh, Luthen on my uh, solo table. All four maps of it. That's a huge amount of space to be maneuvering about. You know what, though? It is totally cool because you have so much space. I mean, just, I mean, we're kind of maneuvering here a little bit, but I mean, that's crazy amounts of space there. And, you know, you could presumably vector the attack where you wanted to, kind of mm -hmm. like you can here. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I love the one map games, but clearly they are limiting right so it's been kind of fun to just kind of have this wide open space what am i going to do so anyway that's what i've been doing so are you following the historical guidelines nope. and marching around nope. behind the hills nope. and all that stuff well, no, the, so it starts with the prussians over there on the right already. okay but what i decided to do because at consim world dallas 2020 i was the austrian left okay and of course the austrian left absolutely gets crushed right well dad that was what i did i got absolutely crushed totally run over i actually formed a hedgehog at one point wow because uh, i had guys facing in all directions oh I lost yeah i saw a picture of that yeah it was a nightmare so this time i said you know what we're gonna play the game and i am gonna cut and run from the first turn and the basically consolidate yeah, the left flank of the Austrian army was just going to turn and run like hell for Luthen Town, which is the only, like, terrain of any consequence that would help. 
and then hope that the rest of the Austrian army could show up and make it a fight. And uh, most of them had gotten away pretty clean. The cavalry that was screening them got kind of chewed up in the process. But right. most of the most of the kind of highly questionable infantry got away. The question is, is highly questionable infantry in town, is that really much better than highly questionable infantry in the field? Right. Uh, the Prussians may still just absolutely bum rush them. We don't know, but that's why we play. Right. So that's what I got going on. So it's cool. four o'clock in the afternoon. I guess we've been going about an hour and a half, and uh, we'll see how that goes from there. Very good. Yo, what's up? Not a whole heck of a lot. Just um, we we played uh, the Allied turn at uh, Austerlitz last Monday. Okay. Um, and so we'll pick that up again. Uh, what? Not tomorrow, but the next week. Um, Robert uh, Bond, who I don't know that you ever met, he's a friend of mine. I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah. he 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 was only able to make it out to Consim once. That's when we were mm. doing the Prussian uh, playtest with uh, Super Yena. Um, oh and, yeah, no, I don't think I was there that year. Yeah, and so um, so he's coming up from San Diego, and then I've got a friend of mine uh, from elementary school, high school. He's coming down. From LA, we're gonna get together for dinner. I haven't uh, haven't seen my friend David in a while, um, so yeah, we try to do this periodically. Robert's got some time off before um, he's got to start back teaching at the community college, so um, this is our chance to try to meet in person. <laughs> All right. So yeah. All right. Well then, that's good, David. How you been? Good. Good. Did you have a good Christmas and everything? I did. Yeah. Since we yeah. didn't talk to you since then. Oh, that's yeah. true. We had, yeah. We had lots of young people uh, over at the house. The kids um, uh, each brought somebody with them. And uh, so that was fun. Um, just kind of meant for a little more festive sort of gathering. And that was good. And we had some folks over for New Year's Eve. Again, just kids, but still. I mean, um, so it's been uh, been a good time. And, you know, if nothing else, I am a huge believer in having people over every couple of weeks because it means the house stays clean. <laughs> huge fan of having people over. Right. <laughs> nothing like uh, a deadline uh, to focus your thinking, right? That's the way it usually works. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we did all right. We did all right. Yeah. So, all right. And, uh... I don't know. I understand there's a battle going on here. In Somewhere. theory. All right. All right. Now, of course, since I've been playing Luthan, of course, you're going to have to remind me how this battle works. What's the in initiative differential? Is it two? Uh, yep. It you one? guys got a plus two. Is it plus two? All yep. Right. Well, as is traditional, I guess I will chuck the first oh. dice. Yep. That's why we couldn't so start we... until you showed up. That's right. Yeah, because we can see, is it going to be a zero four or is it going to be a four zero? <laughs> Oh, 69. 69. I don't think. Well, that you, was what you're I moving the clock all. already on the first turn. Definitely yeah. moving the clock. We know that. And I will do that. Boom. There you go. So it's definitely one on us. And uh, I don't know. We, we got some cavalry kind of all kind of glowering at one another out east. What do you think there, David? Uh, uh, I hadn't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. <laughs> as as is that. customary with these as weekly as games, as it's like, oh, as damn, I'm first. Shut up. Oh, I, I, I got to do something. <laughs> I got to do something here. You'd think that going first would be advantageous, but only if you have a clue what you're doing. Uh, That's all right. I, I know exactly what to do, so if you guys don't want to take it, you can just take a pass. Wow. So Vienna would be what? South of here? Uh, south. Uh, yeah, pretty much due south. Maybe a I little bit so. west. Yeah. Maybe a little. So so that's where you need to go? Yep. That's, Any further that's, questions? Nope. That's entirely what my plan was. Okay. There's a nice yeah. road. Looks like it's leaving out Hex 7012. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Do I? Am I ready to? Am I ready to mass some attack? Over you know here? what? You don't have to attack. You just got to do something. 
That's all. I mean, right. since I'm playing the king, I'm going to be passive aggressive with you. <laughs> the king has given you an order. <laughs> the king is giving you an order, and that's, well, you don't have to do anything now. You've got multiple commands that you can play with, so. Yeah, I do. So let's. Um... Yeah, and this is obviously not uh, a wing activation, so it's just going to be one. Right. Uh, obviously, one that would be, you know, helpful is um, um, Holson getting those guys undisrupted just to try to. Yes. Um, That's try to a, what tidy kinda, things up there. I was kind of thinking the same kind of thing mm -hmm. here along yeah, that line. So I think there's a lot might, of merit to that idea. Yeah, he might be a little little bit better there too. All right, you, so, he could okay. also take those, you know, Wangenheim grenadiers and uh, you know, charge those hussars in the flank. They at least make do. them at least make them go run away. They can do that. Why the hell not? Yeah, why couldn't you? If you turn, I mean, there is a, yeah. If you turn and you use the optional rule about defender reaction, actually, I'm not sure if the optional rule would cover that or not now that I think about it because you're, you're one hex away. Uh, I think you turn and basically all he's going to be able to do is retreat before combat and get the hell away from you. Yeah. Interesting. Never thought of that. Yeah, I mean, if if I'm a body of cavalry and I see this nice formed group of infantry coming at me with bayonets, I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Let's let's meet again under more ideal circumstances. Yeah, exactly. This is almost <clears throat> certainly what they're gonna want to do. All right. Well, let's see. I think I have to roll to see if I'm in command for mm, Holstein. Yeah. Probably. Well. Yeah. Um. Well, he's Probably. within range of Zethan, but I don't know if Zethan is four, within range. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, you're just out of range of the king. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. You know what? He's in reach of the king along the road. He doesn't even need the, the wing leader. Oh, because of the little trail that he's on. Yeah, because the, between there and there is nothing but road, and at half price... He is less than 10 hexes away at half price. So, actually, you don't need to roll. You're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> the wing leader is a potential additive to the line of command, but the line of command ultimately needs to go to the army leader. If you can reach to the army leader directly, it does not matter where the wing leader is. Unless you're attempting a wing activation, but you're not. Right. Oh, okay. So you're going down the big road and then down this road. That's yep, right. Down the little yeah, trail. If, yeah, you, yeah. if you follow that road, you're less than 10, you know, command points away. And so so you don't need to roll. Yeah, it's 18 hexes at... That's right. Yeah. At, at half, that's nine. And he's yep. got a 10 command radius, so you're good to go. Yeah. It's good okay. to be the king. It's good, good to, to be, be the easy. king, and <laughs> I imagine that all of his guys are within four hex range, so I think uh, that's all good. Everyone's in command, so then you just go to uh, disorder recovery. and Yep, so we'll start with disorder recovery and see uh -huh. what can happen there. Boom. So, I yeah, think they're looking, feeling pretty better. pretty convincing, yeah. Finally, yeah. those are the yeah, four no schlubs kidding. that... I know. How many men have you lost? None. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well. <laughs> and the other one here, the next one, and he met. Yeah, he should be yeah, fine. Those are well, that's going to make it for a hostile work environment for the uh, Austrians in the area. Yeah, we're used to it. Okay, that's good. Glad to hear it. All right. So we got lots of practice at Prague. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm also activating the artillery. That sure, there the one's the right there time. to the right. Yeah. yeah. So I guess fire is next, correct? Fire would be next, yep. And of course the six-pounders can fire and still move, but the 12-pounders uh, either fire or... Oh, I'm sorry, they're both six-pounders. I don't... 
No, the, no, 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 no. One's no, a twelve pounder. No, no, no you're right. Yeah. yeah, he can fire or move, but not both. All right. Uh, the the twelve will fire at this unit down here. That looks like a pretty straight shot. What is that? Five hexes. Yeah. What does that get you for a As multiplier? the crow flies. Times five, so it's going to be ten, so it's a one-to-one -one shot. One-to-one, -one, but going to be plus at least ten for size, because that's a 14-size defender. Exciting. All right, one-to-one -one with a plus ten. Oh, that's because cavalry's double. Yeah, it's that. twice yep. as, right. twice as big right, a target. Well, horses are huge, <clears throat> it turns out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 35, no, yeah. no. Nope. No. And the six pounders will shoot it. Uh, I think they would fire at that the guy. Oh, well, they totally yeah. have a shot at him. Yeah, yeah yep. no doubt. And same uh, thing. Oh, it's 12, so it's still going to be plus 10 for sure, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's if you have more than, uh, what is it, eight Four increments? Yeah, I mean, 14 might have been plus 15, although it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, matter with that one. But this is definitely plus 10, I'm sure, at least. Yes. They're only so, times three, so that's uh, six. Okay, so it's one to two. So, but, but again, at it least... It says plus it's 10. plus 15 for 12 to 15 strength points. Okay, well yeah. then plus 15. One to two plus... Oh, oh special result. Special result. First special one of the day. result. Aruga. Artillery Aruga. fire. Aruga. Have the fire strength and reroll. Oh, that's not any good. Oh, and yeah. there's a little asterisk. It means somebody got shot. Uh, we have to roll to see what the leader result is. It could end up being nothing, but we definitely have to roll a single die um, on the leader loss table and see if it affects only people in the target or anybody or what have you. Okay. All right. So the, do you do that first? So. Yep. Okay. Single die. Three. Three. So in the line of fire, roll for each enemy later in or adjacent to the target hex. Okay. There is a leader who's adjacent to the target hex. Yep. So this that guy right fair. here. Okay. So then we would roll again and see if there's any effect on that fella. All right. Another single? Yep. That's right. Okay. okay. Seven. Where where do we look for that now? Is it's it on, on the, the table. Um, oh, okay. Right. It's on the it's right under the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it says no effect. Okay. All right. Well, it was worth a try. It's right always on. worth a try to kill an Austrian you know, leader. <laughs> um, all right, so now you have your strength. So now it's undoubtedly one to three. So you just go ahead and fire. But you know, you still got plus ten, and there's a hit. All right. Because with plus ten, that is a hit. Well, it's a plus fifteen. So yes, it's still a hit. Sorry, is it plus fifteen? Okay. Yeah. Well, then even even more. One hundred one oh nine. It's the same result as a one oh four, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still marvelous to see. Okay, and then because it's even, I have to make a morale check. That is correct. Okay. You got to do a morale check. Here we go. Yeah, we okay. shrug Looks it off. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But you know what? The reason your guys are comfortable is because you realize you're making a smaller target for the all. Prussian guns. There you go. That was the whole point. We're waiting to get whittled down. That's right. Now that the three increments is out of here, <laughs> the rest of us are fine. <laughs> All right. So that was the artillery firing. That's uh, probably the only firing, although, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess. Can you fire there? Um, well, the village is in the way. Actually, I'm or trying to figure it out. The village? village is in the way there, and I guess there's the Swedish earthworks on that hex side, right? Yeah, yeah. Looks like it, but yeah. yeah, so it looks like it'd be blocked if this guy wanted to shoot. But he could. I mean, I guess he could theoretically shoot two strength points if he wanted to. I'm not sure it's worth the trouble, uh, especially yeah. because it's going to be minus ten because they're skirmishers. The Swedish fieldworks don't block line of sight. No, I believe that. I totally believe that. But the yeah, but the village uh, does. But the village does. Yeah. So you could only get half strength points there, but it's minus 10 if you're shooting at... Skirmishers. Uh, skirmishers. Now, we do have the potential here. You could get two strength points out of there and four strength points out of there at 
times two, I presume, at two hex range. So that might be worth it. It's still minus ten, but on the other hand, it don't cost nothing. Yeah. So we'll do that. So musketeer and a fusilier. Yeah, they're both times two. So you'd have. So it'd be six. twelve to ten, so it'd be one to one. Uh, one to one sixty-seven is not going to be enough, especially with a minus ten. It's yeah. not going to be enough. So, but you know what? Hey, it's like free gunpowder for everybody. All right, we got Iggy Criddle siding in. Good evening, everyone. Sadly, I got to rid of this game a few years back before getting into bar. Yeah, oh, yeah. What a shame. <laughs> well, yeah. you can play the game on Vassal, and you can download. The rules and everything yeah. else yeah. from Basically the... Basically everything you yep. possibly want to know. Yep. Yeah, so you that's don't, true. You don't need to physically have a copy of it to play it. Um, yeah, because yeah. you can download it from the Vassal... Uh, like, it's what is yeah, it? From Google? The, uh, uh, Battles from the Age of Reason. If I just search for that, it shows up right away. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. I think that you can do that with all these games that are out of print. Uh, yeah, because they've definitely all been updated to third edition rules. Yep. You might have to spend six dollars to download the third edition rules, but again, you know, that's a whole lot cheaper than buying a new copy of the game. So whatever. Yeah. Well, and I did uh, get a copy of the Primer. So. Oh, uh, did, did you get a hard copy? Yeah, a hard copy of it. Yeah, there oh, was a great. fellow out in Germany who wow. had posted something on uh, the Consim page or Facebook or something saying, hey, I've got a copy of this. I'll give it to anybody who pay for the shipping. No and I'm kidding. like... That's great. And so he's with the, he was with the, uh, he's with the Army or the Air Force or something like that. So shipping was just regular U.S. postage. Oh, and so nice. it went straight from Dusseldorf or wherever he's at to Chicago yeah, and then yeah. from Chicago to me. And I'm like, cool. So, That's great. Yeah, yeah. That is great. Good, good so for it, you. It, well, it, I tell yeah. you what, you know what? Honestly, as much as I played this game, when I was playing solo, Luthan, I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, how does Pursuit work? And I, I had to sit there and kind of go back through the rules, and I'm like, I'm not really seeing in the rules exactly <laughs> what I want to see. And so then I go into the <clears throat> primer, and I go take a look, and I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I do doing now but yeah I, it's uh it's a very handy thing there you go very handy thing all right well where are we now uh movement i guess yeah movements i guess uh, um the uh, and, uh we go down to uh headquarters there for a second i, I got a <laughs> Uh oh, gonna, it's time to worry. We're gonna we're gonna go to the uh let's see which which headquarters anywhere which, which tent with let's go to the <laughs> coalition HQ. Yeah. Here we go. All right, yeah, so Iggy, uh, I got the first edition primer. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I really, I didn't know that there were two editions. Um, and so the fellow who <coughs> sent it to me, I guess there were some updated counters that were part of that. So he sent those along as well. And so, yeah, it was pretty good for the most part. So no complaints. All right. Oh, Clash of Arms recently reprinted it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that must be then the second edition copy. So, no, it certainly, and it certainly was very handy. I wish I'd gotten a copy of it earlier because um, I think it does explain the rules uh, in, a, in a better manner than the rules do. Um, it's got some more... 
examples and and things like that. So, um, of course, it could just be that I know the I know this game system now since I played it. So maybe um, I recognize it a little bit more. But if I'd been playing it, um, if I hadn't been playing it and just looking at the primer, I think I would have gotten a little bit of a better sense of things. So yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So. Uh, I would recommend that for anybody who wants to try to play. Um, I think for the most part, you will um, it will help you to, to get a better ba- a sense of uh, how the game works. Um, and, uh, and, and I know this game is pretty intimidating because I certainly found it to be intimidating. So if I found it to be intimidating, I presume other people do too. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The rules are great, but the primer makes them even easier to understand. Correct. Yeah, and that's there's a lot, a lot going on. <laughs> so that makes it a little bit tricky. All right. Well, and the Prussians are scheming against me here. Going to make my life challenging, par for the course. So. All right, and as you note, both are available as a PDF from Game Vault. Yeah, both the third edition rules and the primer. And I'm glad that I got a physical copy of it um, as opposed to the PDF. Um, uh, it's just a little easier to, to access it. Um, you know, I, uh, every, it's got so many different um, samples of play, and they're all in color. And so if you wanted to try to print it out, which you, you know, if you wanted to read it physically, that's going to be expensive on your poor little color copier or taking it down to, uh, to the office uh, supply store kind of thing. So, all right. Okay. Are you guys back? Have you, have you figured, should I just raise the white flag now? So if you guys take a look now, uh, yes. I have created a Prussian headquarters. What? Yes. So if you look down under French HQ, between French Zut HQ and, and Coalition HQ, there's now a Prussian HQ. Magnifique. So you can just go there, and that way you don't have to feel sullied by any of the La Bataille stuff that's been going on. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You have your very own little HQ to plot that against is, me. At. That is spectacular. Yeah. It's just—it's one of the perks of being the you know principal administrator of this. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, yeah. indeed. You're the man. Yep. All right. Snap well, my fingers. Uh, David, David's going to exercise our cunning plan. Okay. Uh, All right, Baldrick. It won't have anything to do with any of the hexes that we clicked on. Oh, I was busy chatting with Iggy Criddle, so oh, I must oh, have missed nice. that. I'll have to watch that in the replay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any big surprises. What? What? All right. Sure. Well, let's see it. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we got going here. Okay. So you... All right. So. All right. So uh, I'm going to take uh, this uh, guy right here. He's going to go. And you get, I guess you get a little distant shot here with it. To, a little he's... boop. He's going to go like that. So when he turns, I get to shoot at him? Absolutely, you do. Okay. I'm, um, I'm, I'm sure. I confess I'm a little, <laughs> a little mystified. Was I in the same tent? Here we go. David Let's take a in? shot. A 35. Right. That's a miss. Uh, never mind. All right. And then right there. All right. Uh. I guess I get to shoot him. So when he's here, am I shooting at a range of one or a range of two? You're shooting at a range of two because you're actually shooting as he leaves the previous hex. Oh, okay. So it's exactly the same as the last shot. Sure. Here we go. Oh, that's another miss. Wow. Whiff, whiff. Okay. Now, the other thing we all need to be quite clear about here is that he's now in op charge range. Oh, yeah. From this guy here. Not suggesting it's a good idea or that it's a bad idea i'm simply pointing it out because that's the kind of guy i am yeah i guess that would be a good thing for me to try to do well um, it's a thing yeah let me see if i can muster the courage to do that mm-hmm. 26 i don't know oh, if that's no, you be did good not. enough 
Oh, no, you did I'm not. a 26. I managed Holy to do it. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He's better than I thought he was. Yeah. My, my bad. Oh, well. So I move forward one. Is that how it works? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you remember all that stuff I was telling you, David? Yeah. I take it all back. Uh, we were in the wrong tent. We were in the coalition headquarters. Of course, nothing I there said made sense. There you go. Yeah. It's because there well, were Austrian I, I, spies there. I, and, and I... Well, I I did it that way because for a certain reason, but now I realize that that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, by all means, carry on then, boys. Um, all right. So, so what happens now? So it's just <clears throat> it's close com it's close combat. It just gets resolved now instead of during the close combat. Oh, phase. okay. So I guess what so you need to already, roll. It, You've already passed your attacker morale check, right. so and we've already identified the close combat, so there's nothing more to do except now the defender's morale check, which of course is going to be minus ten because he's like bitten hit in the flank. Um, this is a morale so check B pre close yeah, combat. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, and if you look down the list of all the various things, oh dear, that's not. Um, that's not good. No, that's, that's not that's good. That's not going to be good enough. It's going to be a 24. No. Nope. Oh, and he's a so, 32. Yeah, oh. so he's now shaken. So that's going to mean this isn't going to go well. All right. Uh, so let's see. You've got six increments left. The attackers have got five increments. So the odds are one to one and a half. The attackers have got... Two printed value plus one for being light cavalry plus one for having charged one. So they got a total of plus four, then plus three more for attacking in the flank. So that's a total of plus seven. The defenders, uh, I'm sorry, what's the defenders' printed value? I thought it was a three, but you could flip him back over again, David. Oh. Yeah. Okay, three but minus five, so it's minus two. So seven to a minus two, that's going to be plus nine. So it's one to one and a half, but it's plus nine. So definitely the defenders are looking for a zero here. All right, here we go. <laughs> and the defenders' prayers have been answered. Oh, as usual. So where do we go for that now? That, that's oh, on that's the just right special there. results page. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, that's so still brutal. Oh, no, of course right. it is. It's brutal for yeah. everybody. These special results are never great news. They're just sometimes better than the alternative. So each side takes two losses, and if there were any leaders involved and they're not, then you'd have to do a leader check. But two losses, and then whoever has the better morale, and it's better morale according to morale check G, golf, and uh, morale check G I don't think counts very much. Um, uh, here I am looking, morale check G. You're looking for things that are 50% losses or more. Oops, I think the defender is going to be So he's at a 50% loss, yeah. Okay, and disordered I'm... and shaken. Oops, there's 10 more. So the defender is going to be at plus 20. Uh, but flanking no longer matters because the presumption is you guys are all, oh, no, I take, no, you're right, they're not. So I think it's going to be plus 20 for the defender, going to be plus nothing for the attacker. So definitely the defender has to roll first because the higher value has to roll first. So it's going to be 32, 42, 52 for the defender to pass his morale check, it looks he like. He rolled a 68. All right. So okay. now the attacker needs to roll against a 26. Oh, I rolled an 11. All right. So then you lose a strength point and route. Okay. Cool. And that was definitely a case of, from the Hussar's perspective, we survived it all. Yep. <laughs> and got the hell out. And from the yep. defender's perspective, this little kind of misstep didn't actually get us all killed, although it's not lovely. So one, two, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Okay, yep. cool. Exactly. All right, so that was all in the middle of the movement phase. So the movement yeah. continues. Movement continues. So I am looking for where are my movement charts. What the heck? I'm losing everything here. Oh, like, uh, 
Well, I saw your little post about the plus 16. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, and that was just like, okay, you know. That was awesome. How often is it that we've had, like this, we had a plus 9, and what did we get? We get a 0 kind of thing. But plus 16, it was like, oh, my gosh. And, and yeah, they didn't manage to roll 0, so I think it ended up being... I think the attacker rolled six, the defender rolled five, so it turned out being plus seventeen on whatever odds column it was. But oh my gosh, that was wild. So, right, so the villages are two for my guys in line, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if we'd rolled a zero on either of those dice, it would have been a zero result, correct? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, a zero right. and a one, it's indifferent to who rolls the zero and the one. It's just, um, it's it's exactly the same. Okay. Result. Yeah, and it's just kind of random. If you look down the list there, um, you know, some are better for the attackers, some are worse for the attackers, but it's not like there's a real consistency. It's not like zero one is oh that's terrible for the attacker. It's like you don't know without looking at the chart. Right. Yeah. There's a ten percent chance any given roll or melee that you're going to get one of those zeros. Actually, it's worse than that. It's nineteen percent. Oh okay. Oh. Yeah, because if either of you oh, or both yeah, of yeah, you yeah, yeah. Okay. roll a zero, and obviously the chances of that are actually pretty high. So it's nearly 20% um, something is going to get. Nearly, to yeah, right. exactly. And in fact, I've been really surprised in the game I've been playing on my solo table. There's been very little of it. Mm -hmm. I finally had one, and I was like, okay, I mean, it was about time. Um, but I love that. I just, I love the just, you just never know. Sir Baloney. Remember Sir Baloney? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has been fighting out of his own boots here. <laughs> His, his cavalry finally got wiped off the map. Well, I mean, all routed and they're all running away, but they made the Prussians pay. I mean, it was just one of those cases of they got a special result for uh, free combat. Right. And then they got a special combat or a special event for a uh, special rally. Mm hmm You know, and so here are these guys, they go countercharging, bam. Then they charge again, bam. Then they all of a sudden undisorder themselves, and they're fresh and ready to go. And I'm like, "Damn, boys!" And then when the when the Prussian hussars come up against them, uh, that's when we got one of those special results. And it's like, "Yeah, I mean, they lost, but man, they took a chunk on the way out." And that's just one of those things you just never know what's going to happen. You right. The dice, and you could be surprised. Where are we, David? Uh, I think he's done with his movement. No, I'm not. What? What? Hey, the clock's been ticking, stole. Dave. Come on. Been oh, talking? oh, are we going to get a five-yard <laughs> penalty? <laughs> yes, five hexes back towards the road. <laughs> no, 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 five yards. It doesn't really amount to much. All right. So, okay, so it's plus two to cross the Swedish works there right plus two well, so it'd be three to get across there yeah okay yeah, that's you fair gotta make them row check i guess or disorder no check. a disorder check yeah and um can this guy he can move in on top of this right oh no he's i don't want to do no because if mind. you do you do you become shaken as well oh, well right yeah Panic, I'm, I'm, and it's I'm, infectious. I am not thinking correctly here, but okay. Well, you know what? You've been, you've been playing that other game since. Yeah, I know. All right. I come back. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Yeah. And four. Yeah. 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 Very good. And a disorder check for him. Crossed one hex side. All good. One, two. Three, four. Okay, there's gonna be a disorder check there. Because because you went into a town and back out of a town. Uh town is uh It's not a town, it's, it's a village, but I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm being imprecise. It's, it's a village, but yeah. it is a disorder check. So 47 right. with a minus 5 should still be okay. 
No, oh, yeah, I don't. I'd, I'd be stunned if they were an yeah. animal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. What else you got? Uh, remember, the six pounders can move, though they don't have to. Right. No, nope, I'm. That's good. I'm done. So let's flip. All right. Colson is just hanging out, going to church. Is that what he's doing? He's praying for his troops. <laughs> Yeah, well, he should be, considering the way that both I and David have managed to <laughs> bugger them up. So, all right, very good. Well, I think it's uh, Eric's initiative roll, then. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Ah, it's another one for you. Uh, so it is. So it is. All right. Are you tired, David? <laughs> Am I tired? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a little worried about you, brother. That's all. all right. It's the stress of command. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I just don't know if he's just, you know, ready for, ready for, you know, maybe, um, maybe somebody else could, uh, you know, do something if you need me to. Yeah. Um, uh, go Croc Owl could go ahead and move some cavalry. We can, we can do that. Or, uh, or, M Meineke? Is he the guy who does mufflers? He is. I had no idea. Yeah. You've got a bunch right. of, you know, really talented auto mechanics in the making I guess here. so. Yeah. Well, you know, in the Seven Years' War, there wasn't a lot of demand, but still, um, it's uh, well worth keeping in mind. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and do Krakow because we can. He doesn't need to roll for being in command because the king's right behind him. And then we'll go ahead and do that. And just for those of you scoring at home, um, that's yep. that's the leader right there. And I'm supposed to make that smirk that, uh, oh, what's his name always made? Uh, what was his name? He was on ESPN, on SportsCenter. Keith Olbermann. Oh. He'd always say, for those of you scoring at home, and then he'd give a little smirk. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I? Um, so we'll go ahead and move. Everybody is in command. I am pretty sure there are only five units that are part of his um, command, unless I have lost my mind. Here I am looking for an org chart. Org chart. Come on, somebody, anybody killing me here. Give me a second. I got him that's handy. Sure. Oh, well, I got the Austrian army chart. That's really helpful. Yeah, he's only got Prussian. five. He's just got okay, five regiments. Five, three and two. Yep. yep. Perfect. Brilliant. Then here we go. Uno. Dos. Trace. Cuatro. Cinco. Unsurprisingly, these guys are going to do the exact same thing. So my question is, we've got the the sunken road. It says it cost four. But that's not a sunken road. Uh, well, this is a there? sunken road, and this is a sunken road. Oh, shit, that is a sunken road. Yeah. Damn it, Jim. This, uh, I don't um, think this one is. that the This one's not, but these other two are. I don't don't know so this I, definitely looks like a if, sunken road this definitely these, looks like it's yeah but, yeah but yeah, these yeah. two are if, not these three are but you think those two aren't isn't that no weird? no because they don't have the little stripling there yeah, no, along yeah, the sides. Yeah, yeah. no you're right it's there's not as much of it anyway isn't yeah. that fascinating who knows we can we blame blame I rick will. barber for it come yeah, on rick yeah yeah one two three Four, five, seven. Well, all right, all right. Ah, I'll just do that. All right, and then these guys will. Uh, and again, this is what I get for changing games so often. So it is plus one to go up slope. So let's just call that two, three, four. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do that. All right, very good. Uh, David, I think. All right, roll. throw some yeah. dice, Dave. 
77. Seven that, that goes to you, and that's going to push the turn. Move the chart, okay? Fair enough. Making me nervous. <laughs> yeah, that's the objective. <laughs> Uh, boy, I have seen that at Luthen tremendously. I've had some turns where everything was low, and so everybody gets to move. Right. And then, you know, then the next turn, the rolls are really high, and basically the Prussians get to move, and the Austrians barely get to move at all. And it's like, uh, you just, you don't know what to expect. Yeah. That kind of makes it cool. I do. I, I like it, because you, uh, you kind of know the general the general sense of how it's supposed to work, but that doesn't mean you really understand. So, yeah. Let's fun. see. We've got uh, Wardrobe Plays WW2. Greetings all. Soloing some GTS Crete while listening in. Well, we're glad that <laughs> we provide, kinda... I guess, the ASMR of... Uh... <laughs> that, that is kind of mixing metaphors there. It is. Sure, why it not? Is. Yeah. Well, you know, we could we could be landing Prussians in Crete. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll send the Falsham leg yeah. Jaeger Prussians with us. I mean, you, with you've us, got yeah. a Manstein somewhere in your uh, in your I'm order sure of battle. Do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. All right. Fair enough then. All right. Well, welcome wardrobe. Happy to have you listening in. So cool, cool. All right. I think it's back to you, Michael, to throw the dice. Is it? Yep. Yep. David threw that beautiful seventy-seven. Well, but, who moved? But we didn't move. Oh, I thought you moved Krakow. Well, no, no, no. That was that was your uh, initiative roll. That was oh, right there. So okay. So now it's David's initiative roll, and it's back to David. And so I don't know, David, do whatever the heck you want. I, now that Krakow is stuck behind this damn sunken road, I'm not. I don't have a whole lot of benefit to moving the other cavalry in the area. So you know, you do whatever you need to do. Um. What is the effect of the sunken road on? That's what I'm trying to think. Of. Sunken road's kind of a Charlie Foxtrot, is what it is. <laughs> so um, it's got a if if you are attacking out of it, you are penalized. Um, if you are, I think, defending in it, it's got. I can't remember exactly if it's got some sort of benefit or not. Oh, we double go. the there CV. Okay, so crossing it, if you for close combat, it costs twice as much during a cavalry charge. Oh, it says double yeah, the CV special. modifier for cavalry. So I guess... Okay, what, all right, let's take a look here. Uh, so cavalry... Uh, okay. For... All right, so, so they have a uh, 15... Fire defense value, if and only if it if it's non skirmish infantry, then they must be in line. At least one of the flank hexes must be in a sunken road hex. All the enemy fire must come from a non sunken road hex. Skirmish units always receive fifteen as their fire defense value. Cavalry and artillery always use ten as their fire defense value for clear when they're in a sunken road hex. Sunken road hex does have an adverse minus two modifier that applies to a defender defending in a sunken road or an attacker attacking out of a sunken road. All sunken road CV modifiers are doubled for cavalry. So presumably cavalry would get a minus four uh, if defending in a sunken road hex right. or minus four if attacking out of one. That's pretty pretty stern right uh for morale checks that use a terrain modifier a non-skirmish unit and a sunken road hex modifies its er by minus five it's a slight benefit skirmishers of a minus 10 that's a little bit more um yeah so that's kind of how that works yeah so they are an impediment to travel and generally speaking unless you're a skirmisher you don't want to be defending in one yeah so this that's... is why david i set up like my cavalry here behind the sunken road so that, you know, if you were going to come and attack, you would be stuck in the sunken road attacking right. attacking me kind of a thing. Right. So that's why I had right. positioned them there. Yeah, the interesting part about that is, and, and that's not a bad place to be by any stretch, it also means that he, he doesn't feel any obligation to countercharge. Because if he countercharged, he'd be the one. Yep. 
in the sunken road hex. So yep. the, the, the good news is you get your full charge. <laughs> the bad news is uh, that you get the minus four because you're in the sunken road. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's that's helpful. All right. What, 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 what. Um. So it's kind of good for infantry to be behind it. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. Because if anybody's attacking, it's, it's going to break up. Uh, yeah. An attack. Yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of like remember when we played Mont Saint Jean. The sunken roads there, it was the same kind of thing. The infantry behind the sunken roads, cavalry couldn't charge across it. Um, so they're not using it like a trench. They're using it like a moat. Yeah. And so they're well, standing, you know, if you think about it, they're behind it. So you've got to kind of go down and then up. And and so it kind of would wipe out any momentum of an attack. Exactly. Um, Right. Plus, you've got to make a morale check for yeah. There's getting probably it a disorder it check. Yep, there's Although a disorder it's check. interesting because in this case, if you're just moving into the hex, I don't know if there'd be a disorder check. I think it would be if you moved through it. So I'm not 100 percent sure. But regardless, the minus four CV is enough to be a severe impediment. Yeah. All right, then uh, I'm going to uh, do. Um, Braunschweig. Braunschweig. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Braunschweig. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So, all right. And I'm going to do this one there. Strange vortex in time and space there with the. Um not quite aligned maps yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's okay so there's one two three four uh, that actually may be a steep slope that one may actually be yeah that one's a darker one it I looks think the it same is. as this yeah yeah because i this think is it light. is yeah i think i cost you two to cross that one so you may be at four one two three four even when you're still facing southeast Yeah, that makes sense. It's plus yeah. two, yeah. So you'd still have the same facing you did, for whatever it's worth. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, I'll, he's I'll at disorders. Yeah. yeah, he's at five movement points where okay. he is now. Yeah. Okay. So fifty-three, they should pass. Sure. Right. No, he'll need to roll a disorder check because he changed facing in the town. In the okay. town. Oh, yeah. actually, I think they both would need to because then they both. Oh that. yeah, he turned to move. Yeah, so they both have to do it. Uh, okay. Sorry. These disorders. Uh, well, yeah, but that's the one with the leader. So actually, he's yeah, fine. So he passed. All right. Yeah. Oh no, one. he's not. No, he's not because it was plus five. Minus and the leader five. is only minus yeah. five, so he missed by one. All right, so he's disordered, but he stacked the leader. And this one, and the last guy in line, boom, 38. He's fine. I mean, unless he's really terrible. <laughs> okay. All right. They're not Austrians. I mean, come on. Yeah, well, or. Trust me, Württembergers. Yeah, the that nasty Württembergers. That's that's my Austrian left flank at Luthen and holy smokes. I mean, literally, some of those guys have got like 52, 53 mm. effectiveness ratings. Wow. It's like stupendous. You can't do anything with it. You will look at them and they'll go disordered on you. <laughs> I mean, I thought about, you know, when I wanted to try to back that, that flank away, I thought, well, I can't really do a line backup because you got to do a disorder check every time you do a line backup. Right. I realized the only thing I could do is just put them in column and run like hell and then just have cavalry just trying to see off anybody who's trying to charge them. 
And the Prussians really didn't follow that closely because they realized that, so what? Even if the guys were in line, they're hardly a threat. So mm -hmm. let them walk. Let them, let them march away in column. It's no big deal. We'll get them later. All right. What else you got? All right. Uh, that's, uh, or do I want to do anything? You know what? Why don't you go ahead and activate that uh, twelve pounder right there, so you can undisorder him and do whatever you want with him. Oh, okay. And uh, I'll do the other. Yep, as you wish. Uh oh, pounder. my camera's out of focus. Yeah, I noticed that. I I thought maybe you were drunk. No. Here, All right, let me try so, to pull it up. Uh, try and undisorder the artillery. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, boom. Oh yeah. Part of my problem is I don't have my. Let's see three, here. Three, one. How do I look now? Do I look better? You look crisper, but I, I'm not sure if you want me to say better. <laughs> it's going to take more than just focusing the camera to get me to look better. <laughs> you remember the movie Tootsie? Of course. That was a great one. I remember the. Their they're in there and of course he's a man wearing makeup right mm -hmm. and and the playing a woman in this soap opera and the director says hey camera two could you zoom out a little i want you to make uh make tootsie look a little more pretty and how far back can you zoom how do you feel about <laughs> cleveland <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was in high school. I worked at the movie theater. Trip down memory lane. Indeed. Uh, by the way, I have decided I'm a huge fan of this pointing at hex vertices for uh, for the artillery. Yeah, I, I prefer it too. Um, it has made the advancing at yeah, Because otherwise, so much it's easier. crazy where you're like, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah. All right. Wardrobe yeah, says I'm looking doubly. better now. Oh, marvelous. he says looks doubly good. Though. Looks good. So I'm going to take that as a compliment. All right. Well, you know, he apparently doesn't know you the way we know you. Ah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, oh, good. All, All right. right. Especially with three movement point twelve pounders, boy. If you if you got a point to a hex side, that's going to take all day to get across the field. Yeah. All right, so is it back to me then? I believe so. If Braunschweig, ah, another one for you guys. Uh, and what's it's our a number? Wing. Is it, You're is a, it 10 or is it? Uh, 11 no, is our number, so we're not there okay, yet. Okay, so we're not advancing it, but it's it's not a wing because 7 is not double 4. Oh, okay. So it's, it's just almost. another another single activation. All right, well, you know, c'est la guerre, as uh, they say. En français. Uh, well, you know, if you want, David, I'll move some guys. I mean, I'll move guys. I'm not afraid of moving guys, David. <laughs> David okay. is, is keeping his powder dry. He is keeping his powder, He's, like, in another He doesn't want to something. overcommit his light cavalry until he sees what I do with my light cavalry. Uh, but that's not how attacking works, David. All right, whatever. All right, so uh, I will um, do uh, a guy who's nearly unpronounceable. It looks like Kossig, but then there's a K at the end of it. I'm not sure how you do that. It's that guy. Yep. And he is K-O, so he's got the four guys in front and then these two really snazzily dressed yellow guys in the back. Oh, Very yeah. Very nice. I think you'll agree. All right, so that's one, and that's five. Mm -hmm. and that's one, and that's five. And that's one, and that's five. And I don't know. I don't think that is one and five. I think that's just one and two. Mm -hmm. And for these guys, that is two. And for one of them, it's four, but that's good enough for my purposes. And... I will. Does that guy have two increments lost? Who? That one there. 
Has he been hit with your artillery? I don't think so. I got a very hard time understanding how that could be. David, any ideas? Where, uh, where are we talking about? Right here. This guy. He's got a two increment marker under him, and for the life of me, I don't know why. It could have been when we were doing the setup. There were little increment markers letting us know to set up within two of this hex yeah. or two of that hex. So I suspect it's something from that. I mean, I'm just sitting because here there's you don't have yeah you don't have any guns anywhere near there. I've got a I've got a laser drill that's orbiting the planet right now, but I haven't deployed it on the battlefield well, you yet. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Lazarus impersonation, and I'm gonna magically resurrect those hundred guys, there you go. those hundred troopers and their horses. Yeah, I think so it's safe me. to say that they are feeling better than they look. I'm I'm not dead yet. All right. Yeah, All right. I don't, I don't even see any artillery that could have been shooting at. That well, that's yet. my point. Yeah, I'm yeah. just, I'm, I'm like, I have no idea who could have hit him at that distance. But all right, fair enough. So uh, on we go. Okay, I will throw some dice. Hey, amazing! What? Finally, one for me. Oh, now we've only given you an hour to work through <laughs> what you want to do. So. Oh, I'm going to have to think about it, guys. I'll get yeah, back to yeah, you in yeah, a little give bit. Give it a minute. I'll head to the kitchen. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right. So let's see here. We've got all kinds of exciting things that we can do. Well, I'm going to take some of the pressure off of you here. I'm going to try to... Um, I will uh, activate Haddock over here, Mr. Haddock the Paddock. I'm going to activate these Grenzers, these Grenzers... Uh, the Grenadier, and who else? And then I think these Grenzers that are out here on this side of the universe. Um, and uh, that's about it. So um, let's see. Do I have anybody who is disordered? I do. I've got these. Who are they? Are they part of that group? H. Group H. That's Haddock's group. Yep. So I've got these guys that are disordered. Let me go ahead and roll for them and see if they recover. 63. I think that's going to be good enough. They'll still be shaken. 36 minus 15. That's going to be 46, 51. Yeah, they're, they're fine. So they are just going to be shaken. One of these. There we go. There we go. Just cycle through it till you get to the right. Yeah, room. yeah, I know. I I uh, I was uh, watching um, uh, uh, David uh, uh, Minure. We uh, he was having a devil of a time with the, with the stuff there at uh, Austerlitz, trying to get the units turned around. There's times that I have that problem with uh, stuff where you're just like. You know, you're hitting the wrong button, and you're dropping out of control markers on it instead of rotating them around or whatnot. Right. So it's a big pain in the butt. All right. Well, this guy is going to. So okay. So we've got that. Um, so then we have fire combat. So this guy here is. I, I guess I should roll to see if he's in command. Although it doesn't really matter since he's a skirmisher, right? Eighteen. Well, he's. Not in command, but he can still do his thing. Um, I can roll for this guy and see if he does his thing. Uh, he's okay. And then I'll roll for the Grenadiers. And they're happy too. And then let me roll for these guys over here. I'm, I'm sorry. Yep, I, they're I, happy I stepped as well. away. Who, who I, I don't think you... They're in range of the commander that's that's activating. That, that's activated. I, mean, I was wondering exactly who... Oh, I thought I could was. activate my... Like my Gren Grenzers anytime, right? They're just no, independent no, no. You, units. You yeah. absolutely can. The point is, is if they are within reach of any non-command leader or of the command leader who's activated, then you don't need to roll. Because oh, okay. they, they become activated under the command of that leader. Right. All right. So um, this guy is so okay. Too. This guy's okay. Yeah. Right. This guy because is out what, of that range. This guy over yeah, here is so out of that range. He okay. would have needed to roll exactly. Haddock, I assume, is the one who's yeah. right. Haddock being is, activated. Yeah. Right, exactly. So then, 
then yeah, two of them were gimmies. Okay. All right. So well, given that case, then um, let me just go ahead and roll again. So because it's all convoluted now, who's who? So I will roll for this guy to see if he's in command. He is. Uh, this guy over here by the other end of the universe. Okay. Yeah. Let me yeah, roll yeah. for him. He's also in command. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Genius. Uh, for a change. <laughs> and he's the only one who's activating right now? He is the only of one the, of that of the little, Grenzers. of the little blue yep. Grenzers who's going okay. to do that. I was going to try to pull him back. He's kind of hanging his butt out where your cavalry could potentially charge him, I guess, and I couldn't get away. Yeah, yeah that gives me a genius idea. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So... I'll just move them into the village instead where you can't. So, oh, no. I know. Spoiled All it. Right. Spoiled it for you. All right. So, All right. So uh, I've got some fire. Let's go ahead and do his shooting first. He okay, is going to yep. shoot at this guy that's here. Um, so we're at a range of okay. two hexes. So that's going to be times two. Uh -huh, so right. it's so six, six times to two, ten. One, one to two. Yep. And a 92. Oh, oh, that's going to be enough for a hit. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, that is going to be... And a morale check. A hit and a morale check. And so we will we will check that morale and see you... Oh, boy, 20. I about that. I'm not too thrilled about that number. They are shaking. No, I'm not at all. You shaking but not stirred. Friggin' fragum, friggin' fragum. All right. Well, apparently, apparently it was a like the beginning of the film Glory. <laughs> All right. And then while I'm out here, I'm just going to move him back one, two. So it's going to be, I guess, one to turn, and then half, two, and then move into the village. Okay. One, two. Right, so it's because he's he okay. moves through if the he, side, so he turns sideways, right? Yeah, we turn sideways. That's that costs him one, and then two gets him here, still facing northwest. Yep. Two and a half would have him there, and then what? Three and a half gets him yep, into yep, the village. Yeah. Okay, but then he still needs to turn. That's four and a half. Okay. But he's, there's no reason for him not to go ahead and rapid because, march because he yeah. can't disorder anyway. Yeah. So there you and go. He, He'd made his role for what it's worth. Okay. All right. Very good. Oof. That was the All most right. challenging thing. Let me go ahead and Easily. put a finish marker on him so we know yeah. that he is finished. Wait a minute. I thought they were Hungarian. No, these are my special my special uh, ski rather. troops. Not finish. My little ski troops here. All right. So this All guy's right. going to fire. Uh, so okay. this guy's got two increments times two five. Times That's going to be ten. So one we'll to fire. one. Yeah. One to one, no pluses, no minuses. Here we go. A ninety-three. Ooh, oh, that's another hit. That is another hit. Dinging away another at these guys. Hit, no morale check, but a hit, and no bueno por caca, as we say down in Texas. Yeah. Okay. It's good to be a Grenzer, I guess. Boy, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't get you demonetized there. <laughs> Only in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, let me see. I don't know that... I mean, this guy can shoot here, but I don't think he can do anything because you're Ooh, behind the field It's only going to be... It's going to be... Have, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so it's not yeah. even worth bothering. I could get I a so. result that leads my guys to have their own muskets <laughs> blow up in their face. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you sure you don't want to do it? Okay. No. No. Not today. All right. All right fair enough. All right, so now let's go and do something exciting with our cavalry, shall we? So, All right. uh, one, two, three, those guys are already lined up and ready to go. Those guys are kind of lined up and ready to go. Um, this guy's just going to rotate so he doesn't present a flank to you. Um, and let's see, what can I do? Let's make... Let's make this hex a slightly smaller target. <laughs> um, I can. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a shame that David didn't start shooting at that one. 
Although, if he rolls a 35, it doesn't freaking matter what size target it is. Yeah. yeah. So I will... Um, I'm going to have the other unit... That they can back up, right? Or actually, they can... So it goes one, They can two, absolutely back up. It's three, plus one to four, the cost. Five, six. So he could actually go... Um, So if I have this unit rotate in this hex, but this one stays there. Yes. Right? It, yes. Is there, is there any issue as, with that? As long as you leave the hex, oh, okay. it's fine. Because okay. the only cool, thing that's cool. important is that everybody's facing it in the same formation and everything at the end right. of the movement. Okay, so we've got one, two to turn, okay. three, four, and I'm facing... This way, okay. yes, and then yep. I can turn five, six, right? Agreed, absolutely yeah. agreed. Okay. Yes, and I think I'll turn one more for good measure. Although, Seven. wait a minute, Rob, oh, hold on, hold on, what it costs you one to move up that slow, so actually, you're at seven, even oh, if you're okay. facing north. Okay, I'll take it. Right. The other thing is, and this is super weird, it's just one of those things I want you to be aware of because it's on the chart and it's not obvious. You can move two hexes, two hex sides, two hex points, if you will. Okay. And that costs you two. But if you go all the way around, it's all. Oh, so if you do a 360, not a 360, or a, a 180, 180, an about face. A 180 oh, is all. Interesting. Yeah, and that's not obvious because you think, oh, I can just do one, two, and if I can do two, I can do three, right? Well, no, that's not what the chart says. Right. Um, and that is true for for all formations. Interesting. Right. Okay. All right. Because I assume at that point they're like, you're just counter marching up and down the line, and it's just a big fiasco. So, whatever. Anyway, move on. Okay. Um,. Now, for my grenadiers, it to leave the general order train costs everything, right? That's right. You can only okay. move the one hex. That's right. right. So I'll be here like that. Okay. Did I do that correctly? Actually, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out because because that would have been moving backwards. Well, why is it moving backwards? Am I not? Do I not move general, out of the general, general order? General order has a face. Oh my god! <laughs> so to turn around in general order does that cost one, and then I move That's out? A, that is a genius question. I do not know the answer. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm used to general at, order being a more basically liberal kind of yeah, basically all, having almost a round. full yeah, almost a all yeah round yeah. Basically. No, I I totally understand that. So, um, to change from general order, yeah, okay, right, requires another hex to, right, 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 right. Um, the unit must begin its movement segment adjacent to this hex, and it executes formation change into the hex. Ah, okay, so you're not actually moving. Okay, so this is uh, 8.4i, it's on page 13. Um, to change from general order to another formation requires the unit to enter a hex that does not require general order. The unit must begin its movement segment adjacent to the hex and it executes its formation change into the hex. Um, this change ends the movement segment for the unit. A general order formation must change to any single hex formation and facing is legal for the terrain of the hex that was moved into. I will say that it is actually kind of a question, though, because, I mean, effectively, you are... Okay, so if we go to 8.1H on page 11, it says <laughs> movement. A unit in general order can only do one of the following things in its movement segment. One is move into an adjacent hex. Notice it doesn't say through a, a front hex side. Right. If the hex enter does not require general order, the, auto, the unit automatically changes its formation. Otherwise, it remains in general order, or it can make a facing change in any direction. So, actually, I will say that you are actually totally okay doing what you just did. Thank God Even for the primer. Kind of counterintuitive, because you're moving out your own butt. Yeah. 
Well, we're but, just exiting the little walled farm. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're all, right. all good. Good, and then I'm going to have these guys move into it. Brilliant. Yep. Because mm -hmm. you know now, what happened to the last guys that went into a walled farm? Yes, they did really well. And then mm -hmm. they have to, well, how do they face? Do they face a hex side? These guys actually have to remain in skirmish order even okay. when they're in one of those hexes. So Good. actually, I think he's fine I just how I prefer being now. in skirmish order. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, okay. Well, we had to look that up before when it happened in the other yep. world. All right. So now um, I've, I've moved the various and sundry exciting people that I want to move. Okay. All right, genius, um, genius. And so now what I want to do is I want to do some close combats. All righty. So I'm going to um, do a close combat with that guy, or try to. Right. Yep, uh, sure. I should always totally. say that. <laughs> you should always <laughs> then, say that, no And then doubt. try to do the same thing with this guy. Um, okay, yep, yep. Right, good. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, that's or, a stack of two, yep. Yeah, but now do I right. need to see the target before I do it or only afterwards? Ooh, that's a good question. I, I'm i actually a little concerned that you might need to see him now. Okay, so if that's the like, case, then so, I can move so, forward one hex, and now I can, yeah, I think I can see an enemy, right? That way we don't have okay. the, the problem of why are you charging someone you can't see. Right. Yeah. Hey. All right. I'm nope, used to Labatai, where you could, well, you, you, could start, you remember how much fun we had. Oh <laughs> where my are my God. Polish lancers? Um, all right. So uh, I'll oh, go goodness. ahead and roll for this chap first all and right, see what we good. get. Yep. Uh, 14. I don't Ooh, think he's going to do so. it. No, so he's, he's good, shaken. He's not that good. He is shaken if he's not a 14 or better. I doubt he's a anything. I doubt very much he's that a, he is, yes. He's a bum. For he's failing, a bum. failing. Oh, he's a thirty-five. Oh, yeah. Jingo! No, he's not. Okay, yeah, shaken and not charging. And not stirred. Okay. Right. Now the other one, we're rolling for the whatever the value is for the top unit in oh, the hex. Oh, okay. Well, I should check to see course, who's and better. Of the, yeah, oh, the leader there want, for what it's worth. Do you want the leader there or not? Because do you want the leader going in? Oh, does he have to? If yeah. he's stacked with the unit. If he's there, yeah. Uh, sure, what the heck not. Give it All a right. go. Here we go. All good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Special result. Special result. It may not be bad. Uh, so it's a morale check, uh, B, and it's a... Uh, uh, zero, three. Zero, three, Austrian morale check, B, attacking and in an Ezoc re-roll with a plus 20, otherwise re-roll with a plus 15. Am I reading that right? Uh, that's what I see. So what's All right, so, so uh, does that modify the die value or that modifies their morale? Plus is bad. Oh, okay. For you. All right. Well, so, here we go. Let's give it another shot. Seventy six. Oh, I matter. think I'm gonna go. Nope. Let me They're flip these good. guys over and see. You never know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They still manage even to do plus fifteen is not enough to ruin a seventy six. Okay. So all right, very good. All right. Well, you can tell where perhaps things are gonna go. Yeah. So we're just going to go banging down the line here. Yep, exactly. And he's the target so of the charge. When when you move one hex, yep. then the defender has the option, should he so choose, to do a defender reaction because he's not in an enemy zone of control and he's not disordered, so there's no reason he can't if he so chooses. If he does, the most obvious one is to turn to face the enemy. Yep. If he I does do. face the, the enemy, then he's going to do a disorder check after the movement right. with a plus 10 because he spent one movement point doing the doing the turn. Oh, I don't have to roll for that. Okay, so no, I have to you, roll the, after You this. succeed in the change of direction, but if you end that up disordered, then disordered. In, that might, in some ways, being disordered might be worse than getting hit in the flank. It just kind of depends, right? Right. Uh... I don't think it is based on what I've seen from flank modifiers. No, no. I think I, I'd rather be disordered. <laughs> if I have the chance to to react, I would rather take that chance. Yes. So, uh, I'm so he turns there. and he rolls with a disorder check. Okay. So, oh, he's oh. very 
Oh, Good. supremely ordered. Yeah. All right. Of course, because you did that, you forewent the opportunity to do a uh, counter charge. So he, uh, the attacker comes on in. Of course, he's only had two hexes, so it's not like he's got a big, um, a big force against you. But what the heck, right? Yep. So that's it. Now, he's already rolled the attacker morale uh, check. Otherwise, he wouldn't be attacking. You've done a defender disorder check, but not your defender morale check yet. So now you need to roll your morale check. And it's going to be minus 10 because you've got enemies on both flanks. So 39, uh, but I think, I think you're pretty good. Yep. Okay. Right. So... All good there. So what do we got? We got 11 increments to eight. eight. So it's going to be one to one. The attacker, what is that top unit's printed value is plus, plus two. two. Oh, Hadik is no good. So plus two, plus one more for being light cavalry, plus two more for the two hexes of attack. So mm -hmm. you got a plus five there. Oh, and he's and, a plus five. Uh, <laughs> and he's a plus five. Uh, he also gets a plus one, though, right. for being like cavalry. So that's it. So it's actually one to one minus one, which is not great. Well, you know, I've got to, I've got to try to do my best to live. Something. It's the Absolutely. Austrian way. Here we go. Eighty-four. All right, so that's going to be a net so that's going to be a three, three on the one-to-one -one chart. That's yep. nothing but morale checks, M &M. everybody. All right, the attacker rolls first. All right, here we go. Ugh. And that's and it's to fail, or is that a special result? Yeah, because it, this is a type G. Okay. So there is no special result. So that's just to lose a, lose a strength point and route. Curse you, vassal dice. Curse you, asshole die roller. No one's ever said that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, do I still make my morale? No, roll? you don't need to because yeah, he already ran. Yeah, I bugged out, yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you so... know what? There are no guarantees in this game. That is for damn show. Yep. All right. So I got to kind of go backwards. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. All right. That was my big exciting move. Well, that was a big and exciting move. Yes. All right. All right. There's Haddock done for what it's worth. Haddock in the All paddock. All right. Well, Haddock is great for breakfast. So who's uh, whose role was that? Anybody? Know? That was, was that my mine? role. So I think it's over to it? David now. Yeah. David, then on to you. Okay, the work is finished. Okay, special result. Special result. That's uh, going to be a three, three for, for the, the Austrians. Austrians. Command confusion. And other player picks one of the commands, which may be finished. That's the roll twice thing. All right. Go ahead and pick one and try to confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like that um well i'm thinking we try to do one of the ones that's actually still trying to do stuff because the ones that are already lined up there's no bloody point in getting them confused so i'm thinking right. about like like this guy here colorado's command what's he uh puebla uh further to the west who's still in march column mo moving east Yep, I'm, I'm, yep. fly, I'm flagging him over here. Uh, that would be one that might make some good sense. Um, I don't know. I mean, this guy here, who's that? Oh, he looks like he's an independent. Oh, that's V. Oh, that's yeah, v. he's yeah. probably got a, a better die roll uh, on him. So I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking Puebla, if there's not any particular reason to pick somebody else. That works for me. All, All right. right. Roll two dice. So first and, uh, one is a two. Second a one roll. is a three. Let's see oh, what. Right. Let's see what Puebla is worth. He's a five. Five. All right. So that's a full activation for him. Yeah. The only downside to you is that you know we made you do it, but on the other hand, you were going to do, it, do anyway. it anyway. Yeah. 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 It was. It was. You had to roll the <laughs> dice. You move your mice. All right. Um, 
And can I activate artillery with him or just Uh no. Just that is him. probably the other downside. Not unless they were actually stacked with your units. Okay. No, that's what I was curious about. Because there were, you know, these artillery over here or wherever. All right. So let's see who is who. So everybody who's a P is Puebla. All right. We got a bunch of Pueblas hanging out in the back trying to find their way across the creek. Oh, I think wow. these guys are Pueblas. These guys are Pueblas. So, um, and they're out of command. So that guy's going to go one, two, gets them there. Going across the little stream is um, half. So that's going to be one, two, gets him there. Let's make a disorder check. 38. I think they're okay. Just barely. <laughs> they're not our best and brightest, but they didn't <laughs> budge up. Here's one and two gets him there. Let's make a check for them. Oh, five. Another special result for disorder, right? Is there a special disorder? Movement action zero five. If units printed ER is 26 or better, reroll with a plus 10. Okay. Here we go. Let's re-roll with a plus 10. Ah, oh, 97. Oh, never mind. They're feeling very excited. Okay. Um, then these guys are going to go one, two, gets them there, and they'll figure out what to do after that. All right, moving on to the rest of Puebla's people. Um, let's zoom in here a little bit so we can see the little marks on them. All right, so we've got one... Two, three, four, and I think well, we might have to hold back a little bit. Uh, it's three and a half. And this is going to be one, two, three, four. Yeah, we want to keep everybody together. All right. All right, and that guy belongs to somebody else, and that guy belongs to somebody else. Um, yep, okay. All right, so that takes care of Puebla. All right, All right. Thank so thank much you for, for that. Thank you for giving me an activation. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's it's the least we could do. Yeah. Really, All right, we'll go ahead and should, roll again. I think it's... That's what you should count on is the 26. least we can do. All right. That's a wing nut activation for the Prussians. That is a wing nut activation. So now we got to figure out what wing nut Prussians there are. Um, come on, wing nuts. Um, I'm guessing uh, if we got a wing to activate. I'm looking for, that's Papa November, so that's Bevern. Okay. Um, and that's Monstein. All right, so where is Bevern himself? Is that him right there? I think it is. Yeah. He is nowhere near the king. So we would need to uh, roll if we wanted to do a wing for him. But why the hell not? We'll go ahead and roll. Yep. Bevern. Well, That's good he, enough. He'd have to be pretty lame. Yeah, and he's not He's not that lame. All right. The last time I moved these guys, my blood sugar was at about 42. <laughs> and so I'm not responsible for Anything that's been done here, I think that's what that's, I'm trying to trying that's to tell you. Pretty low. It wasn't. It wasn't actually really great, to be completely honest with you. Uh, okay. Um, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and activate. Now that's gonna be uh, Monstein. That's M, and Ponvitz, which is Papa November. That's these guys here, and then uh, Putkammer, which is P, which is these guys over here. So all of those guys, I'm sure they're all in reach. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? Um, I don't think I don't think Ponvitz can. Yeah, he's he's, uh, too, he's, he's too far just away. a little bit out of out of reach it's, there. Yeah, it's because that that freaking drunk forty two blood sugar brain that I had. Okay, all right. Well, then Ponvitz isn't going because I've already rolled for Bevern, so we'll just go ahead and go with who we got now. Now, uh, refreshing my memory, because, of course, we're not at Luthen. Uh, I can't oblique march except my grenadiers. Is that right? That is correct. Oh, and your life uh, lifeguard. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think is actually these guys over here. If I'm not these guys are or, lifeguards. Or those yeah. guys. That's the one. Right? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, then, fine, fine. I will go ahead and uh, uh, add artillery to the festivities here these guys and is there anybody else or is those the ones um now that's interesting this guy is deployed and that's the weirdest looking unit i've ever seen i guess that is what a mortar looks like it just looks goofy and i i guess he can fire over friendly units but oh screw it i'm not gonna worry about it okay uh, let's see. This guy can fire and prolong, so I think I will go ahead and fire because I can. And I'm going to fire here. Range again. of four hexes, and that's what, a six pounder? Six pounder, yeah. So you times four, so you'll have eight. Eight, eight so to one 15. to fifteen. So one to two uh, minus ten, so it's going to need to be a. Pretty oh no good no roll. no! Village is ten, so it's a one to one. No, so it's no, eight it's to one ten. To one and a half. Oh, okay. One yeah, to one, one to one and a half, but still minus ten. Okay. Or minus enough. fifteen well, for the skirmishers, since I'm gonna, right? No, it's minus ten for skirmishers. Oh okay. Skirmishers must be of a certain size, right. so it's not additive, it's just minus 10, but regardless, it's going to be, I'm going to roll a 92. There you go. You were close. That is so much like a 92, mm -hmm. and yet not quite a 92. All right, well, that's how baseball goes. All right, so then it's time for us to move, and again, Ponvitz isn't able to move. These guys will go ahead and move as well. These guys are going to be really disappointing because they're going to march one, two, three, and then have to stop because they run out of movement points. Super weird. Uh, these guys here are all one big row, aren't they? Um, one. Is it going to be two three because that last unit moved into the yeah into, into the, the into the village. village and then that's going to be four and then here we're going to have one two and these guys are from Ponvitz outfit one two three and the only thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be a little bit more careful about where bevern is than i was this time one two three four five and so if he needed to he would be able to reach everybody flip flip and flip all right take that uh, Eric, I think it's yours. Okay, let's see what excitement we can muster here. William Arends of beautiful Kitchener, Ontario is signing in. Mm. So, welcome, William. Howdy. Yeah, indeed. Howdy, Kitchener. I'm, if it's chilly here in Southern California, I'm sure it's really friggin' cold oh, up yeah. in Kitchener, Ontario. going to be my so, guess. Hey, it's tied. <laughs> and All right, in advance let's... of the end turn marker, boom. All right. Do I roll again, or yes, you do. Oh, yeah, if it's tied. Again, you roll again. Absolutely. Oh, it's tied again. That is also tied, but at least it doesn't advance the thing. Yeah. So okay, all right. This one goes and to that's you. That's going to be 
Another advance. Oh, of my the God. Turn marker. All right. And uh, over to us. Okay. Yep. Uh, David, you got anything you want? All right. Um, uh, let's see. Who's my other emperor? No, I'll hold off on that. Um, Now I am okay. My other guys, the other infantry. Let's see where they are right now. There. Uh, the other infantry. They're probably pinned behind my uh, cavalry at the moment. Yeah. Because of the damn sunken road. So probably not much point in worrying about them. There. Yeah. It looks like these guys there, right? Yeah, that's let's just say that Frederick on a good day, and this wasn't even a good day, probably better at this than we are. <laughs> <laughs> he had more practice. To, to be completely fair. Yeah, yeah. And enough blood sugar in his brain. Yep. So, you know, kind of a big win all the way around for him. Uh, let's see. Um. Uh, yeah, no. let me just. I'm William activate. says it's not too cold. It's only uh, around 32 degrees Fahrenheit this weekend. Oh, jeez! That's, that's God, they're breaking out. They're breaking out flip flops and shorts. Yeah, shorts yeah. and a t-shirt there. I'm 33 right now. I'm only one degree higher than that. Wow. Mm. Um, I'm going to activate uh, whoever that guy is. Uh, Ingles Blaben. Gesundheit. And... Where can you uh, flash him so we have some idea that's where the, he's at? That's the infantry unit over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All he's right. Part What's of your cunning plan with him? All right. Yes, he is. That's right. Fire the cannons, David. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Friendly fire? Yeah. Um, it's and never all that I'm going to do is, is, is actually, Trisha himself is going to stay there, but uh, I'm going to move him out of the way just with a second because he's okay. going to stay there. But the red, they're going. All right. So, all right, can I do that? I'm not sure. What are you trying to do? I was going to actually. But no, that uh, you can't. Uh, Not yeah. into the cavalry, if that's what you were thinking. No, I was going to actually move over this way one to give you a little more space through there. But because uh, um, um, your other oh. cavalry already, you know. Okay, the infantry would be. Right. It would cost you one, two, to um, to turn to the right for this guy. He would move into that hex. It would cost two. And no, then they could. I, I, I was just going to turn left and, and go one hex and turn right again. Well, yeah, but you can't because you're two hexes wide. Oh, so I'd have to. All you can do is do a pivot, and it would cost you two movement points. That would stay there, that would be there, and you'd be facing southwest. And then you could move forward one hex, and then the two would be there and there. And you spent three movement points. And then if you wanted to turn facing south again, it would be five movement points total in order to face south again. There's really not much now, there. This right. unit and this unit don't have that problem because they're only one hex in size. So they can move more easily. But they don't have any place where they want to move, right? All right. One, two. Let's see, we've got Timon 6219. I've played a lot of Koenig Krieg Seven Years War miniature battles. Some wow. of the games are almost as big as this, not as complicated as these rules, though. Yes. That sounds yeah. cool, though. I've seen oh, yeah. at some of the uh, uh, some of the conventions back in the day, I've seen some Seven Years War stuff really 
uh, pretty uh, miniatures. Let's see. Yeah. William, William says, some Canadians do put on shorts when the temperature is at or above <laughs> freezing. <laughs> well, 32. Yeah. We're right there, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. When, when, a, when the unit collapses out of line, does it, can he go either way? Yep. Absolutely, yeah. And it, what it cost, cost you? It cost you one plus whatever the cost right. is to move into the hex that you're collapsing into. So it, obviously right. two in this case. So this one could collapse into here for two, right? That's right, exactly. And then could he extend line back over to here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be four. <laughs> yes, it would. All right, that's the what old I'm going to do. Switcheroo. Yeah. Yeah, the that, old switcheroo. And that, and let's see what the, these are five. So, and the one next to him now can move into that hex, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it'd be one, two, three. Yeah, so yep. it'd be easy for everybody else can just slide down one without spending too much. Right. So, yep, and, absolutely. And I thought I was going to help you by getting that howitzer out of the way, but that's not going yeah, to. Yeah, no. It's all good. It's okay. all good. And let's see Do now. the does the artillery can it prolong in any direction or only forward or backwards? You know, it, as memory serves, they can prolong forward or backwards. Of course, that's four of the six hexes. Right. Or they can change facing by one hex. Side. Okay. But you can't you can't move sideways. Okay. I mean, look at look at the wheels on that thing. Moving sideways would be awkward. You know, I'm thinking for your next move, I'm actually going to pro prolong. Well, I could actually prolong back onto the infantry there, too, couldn't I? On could. the grenadiers. You could. I'm going to do that. All right. And I'm going to leave Tresha out there because he's got to stay with the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five of the other guys. So we're there. And okay. All right. There we go. All right. He won't impede any cavalry. Mobile. I don't know what the hell just happened, but it's all totally good. Is it, it was, your initiative roll? It's David's. I rolled yeah. all those doubles, remember? Yeah. No, no. Agreed. I'm, yeah. I was... All right. Oh, and then. Oh, my gosh. Good. Here we Special go. Special results. Six, six for the Austrians. Free combat. Fire combat or close combat. Close combat. So that has to be a. Uh, what needs to be a leader. Right. And the units that are within his command radius. Right. And any of them can do a close combat segment if they want, which for cavalry means charge movement only. Right. And you already need to be, need to be up facing the right, the right yeah, direction, yeah. exactly, and in whatever range. Obviously, if it's an, an artillery or infantry, then it's just fire combat. Well, then you just, you know, there you go. Well, I, I will, it, I will activate. You're picking a leader. I will activate Furenstein here, my artillery commander. He's Gesundheit. stacked. He's got two 12-pounders, and we can fire through this gap and shoot this Mind guy the here. Gap. Yep. Mind the gap. Shoot that guy in the face. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my 12 pounders at a range of six are, oh my God, they're times eight. So that's going to be 32. Holy jeez. Yeah, 16 and 16, 32. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. All right then. So we got that going for us. Yeah. So that's a three to one attack. Yeah, it looks like That's it. That's kind of nice. Let's find the chart. Yeah, let's roll the dice, see right. what we get. A 96. Oh, my God. <laughs> and is there a plus for the size? Uh, no, no, but no, you're in no, two hexes, he's, so you're he's spread, spread out. into two hexes. So oh, no. okay. Yeah, he's only got four increments there. But, but he's just lost three of them. Yeah, three, and, uh, and then you've got a morale check with a plus 10. Uh, I think it's a plus 20. Oh, am I looking at the right one? Oh, no, it is just a plus 10. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know. I, I really thought it was, but it looks like it's, it, it's on a more 
a shallow gradation than I thought. Okay. All right. Well, then let's take a look at what this means. That is increments. Now, the next question I need to ask is, if I look on the fire chart, it's going to tell me that three ranks, yeah, I can, I can be five and still be in two hexes. I don't have to collapse into one hex, in other words. Right, looks like if you're four or fewer, right? Yeah. Or if you were yeah, four yeah. ranks, you could be... Five or yeah, six but, and but we, we don't, yeah. we don't, we're not using four yeah. ranks. So, okay, all right, well, then I'll go ahead and do a um, morale check. All right, so far, so good. All right, well, that kind of was not really more fun than I needed to have. So, okay, next. I will roll again. Why not? Uh, okay, that's one for another for us. Okay, another for us. All righty. Um, <laughs> um, All right. Let's see how we doing here. We got a few more before the end turn. All right. So you got some guys who are kind of like, you know, stuck out there. What are you going to do with them? Talking about your light, your light cavalry, you were kind of yep. betwixt and between. You've managed to dodge a bullet so far. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we'll go for that. All right. So, so they that's need to be roll. Kata. He needs yep. to roll. So, yeah, he... he uh -oh. an eight. Well, of course, again, he's cavalry, so it probably doesn't matter. Oh, he's a thing. six. Right. Oh, so, but it doesn't matter. You just but, no rapid yeah, march, it, right? Yeah. It it really means no rapid march and you can't enter an enemy zone of control during movement, but why are you going to? Right. So I wouldn't worry about it. And the bigger question is, yeah, I guess everybody's in command because of regimental integrity. Yep. All right. Yep, everybody looks to be in command. All right, so then... At least um, that's the way it was designed, so... Exactly, so no disorder to worry about, and so then it's just time for movement, and uh, what's your charge range is four, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Now, this guy here, if I w turn to face, what's... He can try and... You I can opportunity face. charge you, and I can you pick turn? which which orientation we have, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I could Yeah, in fact to be to be completely honest with you, I'm surprised he didn't charge you last turn. I thought it was a mystery that he turned but didn't charge you. But you know, whatever. Well you saw how successful I was with my <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't see that stopping you from trying. Yeah, That's all. I figured I you know, had a better chance of, you know, receiving <laughs> receiving a charge than trying to initiate right? one, for God's sake. Yeah, well, okay, that's fair. Yeah. All right, so... Um, now, well, my other question was, okay, so it matters at the end of the turn what's in there. What happens if I move, uh, say, his companion back here uh, under here? into that in line so it'd be in line facing this way and then move him into line facing the same does, how does that work or can it happen now? oh oh okay so mm. um i think he would have to move to adopt that facing first He'd so then the other thing. unit could then move in and adopt the same facing but in other words he's exposed to being upcharged before the other unit can show up. Does that make sense? Yep, yeah, it makes sense. That's why I was, that's yeah. why I'm asking. I wasn't yeah. sure which way that goes. No, uh, it, it, it's a, a entirely reasonable question. All right. Well, that will be my first move. I'm gonna attack. I guess turn that way. So I'm. Yeah, hell's yeah. All right, so I can try to opcharge you um, before you actually execute it, right? 
Uh, yeah, well, I, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's I mean, see if I can. Yeah, pull. so you got you got to do a morale check to try to do the op charge. Fifty three, I passed. All right. So, so keep yourself so with your see. flank facing me, please. Well, let's look at op charge here. Op charge, op charge. Why? What? Oh. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So, Right. Special cavalry movement. The active players units may not make facing formation reactions, counter charge games. Uh, I, I'm looking for the place where it says exactly what you just said. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just looking for it. Yeah. I mean, that's um, how we played it at uh, with all that yeah, stuff yeah, at Prague. Yeah. I know. I'm just looking for it. That's yeah. all. Um, because it would be that way if it were op fire. So I'm gonna guess it ought to be that way too. So all right, let's just carry on. Um, okay, so the defender would need to roll his uh, uh defender morale check. It's gonna be um with a with a plus ten because you've got somebody in your flank. Uh, I think you're, yeah, you're good enough that that doesn't actually cause you to go shaken. Um, okay, and so then basically there we are. It's one to one and a half odds. It's one, two, three, four, five, six for the attackers and five for the defenders. Six so for the one defenders because they're light cavalry, right? Or because no, it's not in no. their front, they don't get the bonus. Exactly. Ah, okay. So he he doesn't get the benefit because you're in his flank. So yeah, so it looks like it's one to one minus one. Looks like minus one or plus one. You said I had six and he's got five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're quite right. Yeah. Okay. One to one, six to five. So it's plus one. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Well, that's going to be a big bloody mess. <laughs> well, probably. Yeah, zero, zero five. five. Oi, three to the attacker, two to the defender. No picnic for anybody. Right? Yep, 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 that's correct. Okay. There is no right. uh, leader in the attacker's hex, so there's no reason to roll for that. Um, but, yeah, what a mess. Yep. And the uh, attacker has got the higher uh, effectiveness rating. Yep. So he needs to go ahead and roll first. Ah, once again, oh. cursed. Losing, cursed. Lose. Yeah. Another increment. Yeah, no kidding. Now, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So another increment and route. Yep. Okay. You, sir, know how to party. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't great odds, but on the other hand, somebody gives you a flank shot. I mean, I don't blame you in the in the world for trying it. Okay. Just the dice didn't cooperate. Again. As, as sometimes they Again. don't. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that was an uh, op charge. So the uh, defender can actually, I mean, the... the the active player can go ahead and make the turn that he was going to make. Oh, doesn't it stop everything? No, well, it it only does if... Uh, I want to make sure I'm saying this right. Uh, um, op charge, close combat. Uh, if the active unit wins the combat... Well, David's was the active right. unit. 
and has movement points remaining, it can continue moving and can trigger additional op charges. Oh, really? If it suffered a disorder result. And by the way, you know perfectly well that oftentimes you do suffer a disorder result in close combat. Right. Then its movement is over. So it's really all a function of do you get disordered. If you right. don't get disordered, but you win, then you can keep right on moving. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, I'm used to Labatai where you do the op charge and everything's frozen and the guy whose yeah. unit got charged can't go anywhere. So No, that makes sense. That that does make sense. Yeah. Um but in this case it's like, you know, they they charged, bounced off, and now where was I? You know, right. I'll, Keep you still have 20 minutes left to move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that took the that took uh, that, that took long. two minutes. Uh, so we've got 18 <laughs> minutes left to move. <laughs> well, remember that that cuirass in the French Museum, the Army Museum. Yes, Paris, yes, with the with big the huge cannonball huge through cannonball it. Cannonball yes. through it, right? It's like that didn't take 20 minutes. Yeah. No, yeah. All right, uh, David, uh, what other movement would you like to do? You, obviously, okay. you need to finish any movement of, for that guy if you have any, and you may or may not, but... Um, but okay, so And now, then any other units. So he spent now, one to move. Right. If he were to declare a charge at that point... He's totally fine to declare a charge right where he is. And... Then but, do I go on a cont Well, remember, charge declaration happens during the close combat phase. So in other words, if you are where you want to be in order to do your charge, then you're just done with your movement. And then you can move other units in the, in the same command and put them where you want them to be. And then everybody declares who wants to do close combat. Okay. So it, it could well be this guy is done with his movement, even though that's, you know, he just made one facing change. Right. So now I can, yeah. Okay. So, okay. This is, all right. And I can move, <laughs> now I can move like his companion to move on top of him and stop there. And then when we come to the charge, they both. Yeah. Up, right? Yeah. Do, do be a little bit careful though about moving another unit. On, which unit were you hoping to move on top of I me? Mean, not the one under the leader, was it? No, this one, yeah, this one here. Why? Yeah, why? so the only the only trouble with that is, how are you going to get there without either causing um, a pass through because you're going the wrong way through a hex, or getting close enough to this guy to trigger an op charge from him? I've learned my lesson. I'm not doing any more op charges. Oh, stop it! If you move <laughs> through that hex, though, he gets a free shot at you if he wants it. Now, maybe he doesn't. But so if you moved forward one, turned and then moved here, then he's got a shot at you. If right. you turned and then move here, now you're not the same facing as right. that unit, and you all th undergo a disorder check. And, yeah, but he could move, move this there. guy first. Absolutely, yeah. he could. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just kind of trying to talk you through all the. Mm. ways to move things around all right and now do the slopes count on the in the charge move portion they do well they would it's under scm it's the almost on the right side of the terrain effects chart so the, the uh, minor slopes don't cost anything but the steep slopes right. cost plus one and cause a disorder check but that's i don't right. think we've don't, got any steep slopes on this side here. yeah 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 so so in this case because there's no special cavalry movement addition, then they don't they don't matter. And and I can't begin to guess what the what the designer's intent is to try to <laughs> clarify the distinction between special cavalry movement and regular, but whatever. I just nod, smile, and thank him for all right. doing all the work. All right. So all right. So we got one, two. And that's six, right? That would be yeah. six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and as long as you make a disorder check, right? Not, not as long as he stops there. Oh, stop is it. that what it says? Yeah, because it's not a hex side. 
a hex side is oh, one if you were across you, it, right? Exactly, but in this case, it's like you moved into the hex, but you did not move beyond it. So, so if you move through would... it, then you that would trigger. That's it. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like woods, right? Moving into a woods hex doesn't cause you to have to do a disorder check. Right. Moving out of a woods hex doesn't, but moving into and out of, or moving into and changing facing, that requires it because now you've done right. two things. So theoretically, this guy back here, he, he can charge from there. One, two, three, four, right? He can't yeah. see me, can he? Uh, oh, see no, it's pretty. The the slopes are pretty uh, mellow. I, yeah. don't, I don't see a reason yeah. why he couldn't see him. So, yes, I think he could. Other guys on that back row would have a problem. They might need to move forward, or they might need guys to get out of their way, or stuff like that. But all right, so let's. I think consumworld.com is having a hard day. How is that? I I don't know, but uh, there's um, uh, Banish All Their Fears. It's a new GMT title. It was just published. In fact, it's just shipping right now. It's about, um, uh, I think one of them is from the War of the Spanish Succession, and one of them is from the Nine Years' War. It's It's back in the like the late 1600s early 1700s okay so it's 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 not you know all the way back to the 30 years war and musket and pike it's it's called the uh bayonet and musket series but it's certainly not up to the war of the austrian succession like you know what we've been playing or what we're sure. doing now so it's kind of in the in the middle there and um and i don't know why but uh, I was looking on their Consum World thread, and all of a sudden there are like 40 new entries today. Many of them are repeats of others. Others are people saying, why did I post something and it got deleted? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking maybe the Consum World servers had a little bit of a senior moment. Huh, interesting. Because um, I'm, I'm just thinking people are sounding very odd. Oh. I finally found moderated messages go live and did the approval. Oh, so apparently they were moderating the thread. And he just realized that he needed to go look at those threads, uh, those comments. Okay. I'm very much looking forward to it. I mean, it's going to be kind of adjacent to, to this in, in the sort of style of warfare. So that should be showing up on my front porch any day now. Cool. So, uh, how are we doing there, David? All right, I think my movement is fun. Is, what, is done. What an interesting <laughs> set of things you're doing. And now I think I'm going to uh, declare charges. Brilliant! Like whom? And 
let's see. So, so mark everybody who's up and then roll your dice and move your mice. Move your mice. That's what it's all about, brother. All right. Does Kata know to get out of the way when those guys go charging through him? Does he have to? No. <laughs> okay. I'm just a smart ass and I really I choose not to help myself. Okay, because I just I want to keep those guys over on the the right there in command, but uh, no, 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 yeah. all good, man, all good. All right, keep everybody in command here. All right, so we'll start with the uh, roll here. All right, very good. Uh, and yes, they are going to. Yeah, that should be enough. Yep. All right. And next. Next, this one. And nope, they are. Nope. What special that? result. That's special results. That is a special result. There may still go in. I just got to go Ralph check. check. Pre melee zero three. If you yeah, stack with a leader, reroll with a minus fifteen. Otherwise, reroll with a plus ten. Okay, plus ten. Roll with a plus ten. So, no, they're good. They're Ooh. thirty ones. They're, no, no, no. I okay, got a plus ten. They're oh, they're 21. 20s? 20 oh, they're 21s. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, all right. So You're in deep kimchi here, uh, Eric. Oh, and, I know. Okay. This guy here, let's see about... Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. So oh, let's start with it. this guy here. All right, yeah. So he's going to move forward one. Um. That's the object of my Yeah, car. no, no. To totally. I I'm just sitting here thinking um, defend a reaction. Can he can he react when you started two hexes away? Uh, prior to each time an enemy cavalry unit or stack moves one hex of its charge movement, including the first hex. Any enemy combat units that are in reach. Okay, so in other words, the defender can do a defender reaction even before the first hex of charge movement. So if your defender wants to try to turn, he can. Yeah, I, I would, but I can do sure. it right now, can't I? No, that's what I'm saying is, is yeah. ultimately you can, you, you could have done it before he actually hit you is what I'm saying, because you could have done it even before he made his first movement. Is so there turn. a penalty for me? Is there a penalty for me doing it now? Or no, is there, it, it it's the same uh, I'll, morale check. It, it it doesn't matter. It's the only the only thing that matters is you are spending one movement point to turn, so right. it's going to be a disorder check plus ten because of the one movement point. Okay. Well, uh, let's give it a try. No, it's the right thing to do. Okay, and I think we manage that. Yeah, they're not yep, half looks bad. Looks like it. All okay. right. Very good. So now you're facing that away, so he hits you in the face instead of in the side. Charge movement is now done, so we move to the next charge movement. The next stack can do its charge movement. All right, so boom. Go. All right. All right. Okay, right there, the enemy can counter charge if they choose to. Uh, sure, let's give that a shot. Hey, we do Looks it. Looks like he does. Okay. All right. And then we do with the next one. Now, the only thing you might want to consider, Eric, and I mean, right. there are, you know, is that if you let him come all the way in, he's got to charge up that slope, and it's minus two to his uh, combat value. Yep, that's why I'm if there you, at the top of the slope. Yeah, no, no, I get it. If you counter charge, then obviously you don't get right. that benefit, but then you got... He got minus one to his die roll, and you got plus one to yours. So ultimately, it doesn't matter. Right. In this one rare case, I would say it's maybe just as well you don't. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter if you do or not. It's it, it's moot in this case. Right. Yeah. Because you're gonna have to roll a disorder check eventually. Well, not a disorder Whether, check, but a morale check. Excuse me, a morale yeah. check, but either before you countercharge or after he hits you. Either way, it's no. going to be minus two to him. Yeah. No, Relative I'll wait for him to come on up. Bring it. Yep. Bring yeah. it. Now, can he just can he add into this, or does he have to go keep going? Oh, by? actually, you know what? Oh, uh, oh, 
I just looked this. I looked this up the other day. Let me think. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, uh, he has to stop as soon as he enters an right. zone of control. Yeah. 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 So he has to come up and stop right there. That's right. Yeah, it's one of those things where the order of operations is really important and where the counter charge can really mess up your charge. Right. It could actually block somebody or even cause somebody to... And by the way, I know in La Bataille there's a case where if you go charging and eventually you never actually hit an enemy, you become... Routed. Know, we're, we're... Yeah, you're routed. Is it, is it, is it routed at yep. that point? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it depends on which rule set. I think yeah. it's somewhere it's not oh, quite okay. routed, but... In it's in this good. rule set, it's really interesting because, and I, it's one of those things that fortunately it never happens, so it doesn't really matter. But if you manage to miscount, and it turned out it wasn't actually possible for you to hit an enemy, and frankly that could have been because things happened during the charge phase, but you become shaken and disordered in your original hex. Oh, interesting. It's like nothing ever happened. But you became shaken and disordered, which right. obviously is not great. So it's a great penalty, but it's interesting. It's not like you charge until you can't charge anymore. It's like, nope, nothing happened. Weird. It doesn't happen very often. Okay, well, then we've done all the charge movement at this point. Uh, the uh, attacker can determine what order he wants to do individual combats. Well, we'll start with this one here. All right, fair enough. We can do that. It is, uh, what He's is it? Got, uh, three to one. Four, 14 to 14 4. 14 to 4, yep. so it's 3 to three 1 to odds. Yep. Uh, the attackers moved uh, how many hexes? They just Two. moved one. one. They were here. Yep. They just moved uh, one. Just one, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. And so their printed value of the top unit is? Could be 5. I think all of them are. Okay, yeah, five. yeah, five. Okay, so five, six, seven, then, is his number. Mm -hmm. And the defender's number is going to be three. three. Yep. So it's plus four. So it's three to one plus four. I'm hoping for a zero. I bet right. you are. Turnabout is fair play. Well, that's almost as good. All right, so, so that's a two three on the three one, to one chart. Two. All right. So that is, is a one D one R. Uh, Am I out the right thing yeah. there? Yeah. Yep, that looks exactly right. 1D1R. One okay. one The 1 needs to come off of the full strength unit because it's larger. And then, of course, the 1 comes off of four, your only five, unit there. Two, yeah. 4, 5, 6. All right. The... Um, O only one unit needs to advance. Not everybody needs to advance. And there won't be any pursuit because in order to face after the fleeing enemy, you're going to be facing into an adjacent unit. There's going to be a unit in your zone of control, so there won't be any pursuit. They're both disordered, right? Yep. Correct. Yep, both disordered. Right. Okay. And All right, so there's no reason to worry about anything further than that. All right. Moving right along. So the other battle looks like it's going to be two to one odds. Uh, what's the printed values well, on no, your? No, it's no, four to one odds. Four to one. They got 16 oh, and I'm 16. Sorry. My, my bad. It is. You're exactly yeah, so right. Yeah, so they got 32, to so it's four to one odds. Six um, and five, so it looks like it's going to be six. 
Uh, and they charged and three seven, hexes. Eight, nine, ten. Four hex. No, they didn't. No, they charged oh, three. No, right, you're right. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, then for the attackers, and then two, three, four, four. for the defender. So it's going to be four to one plus six, which is. I'm hoping kind for another zero. Come on. Yeah, looks like looks like you are. <laughs> four to one. So I'm six plus three is nine. Ten for ten. Okay, and ease of two. Plus two. One. Plus he he countercharged one hex, so four. he's plus plus another yeah. one. Plus six. All right. Yeah. yeah, I got yeah. That. So four to one plus six. So yeah. I want something like a nineteen, right? Okay. Oh, that's oh, good that's, enough. That's, that's gonna be enough. So that it's should not be a four to one is probably surrender. gonna be a surrender. That's a seven. Yeah. Oh it's gonna be a nine. No, it's a nine, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. It's nine. tough well, to be an whole Austrian. unit. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the interesting thing about that whole order of operations thing. Because if the other guy charges the way he did, in the order he did, yeah, I can countercharge. But by the way, you're going to take it all. Right. And... You know what, though? We should we should reconsider this. What's that? I, 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 I apologize because yes, he had to stop there, but there was nothing to keep him from countercharging if he'd wanted to, and breaking it into two combats. Because he moved into that hex, it was valid for him to countercharge if he wanted to. Now you said you weren't going to, but that was also before we'd realized the whole he was going to get stuck there. He couldn't move any farther, so it was purely your option. Yeah, I mean the 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 deed is done. Macbeth has killed sleep. You know what? He has an out out damned spot. Oh, there's there's a big spot right there, yeah, where where yeah, those I Austrians wetted themselves. My my <laughs> wife bought a, uh, a magnet from the Globe Theater in London that was. It's got blood stains all over it. It says "out, out, damned spot, Macbeth," and it's on our washing machine. Oh, perfect! Yeah. All right. So uh, those guys advanced very good. They uh, need to roll for pursuit points. Uh, but there was a surrender. So what are they pursuing? Oh, quite so. There is nobody to pursue. Never mind. Yeah. So you rolled for no purpose, but it was a good time. You're busy rounding up the the prisoners. The stragglers, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You only got All four right. of them. Oh, I got three left. Okay. Um, never mind then. So that is the end of all that. Well done, you. <laughs> Now, of course, that was long enough ago that I have no idea whose initiative role it was. Uh, that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and pretend it's yours, Michael. All right. It must be mine. Here it is. I'm rolling an initiative roll. Oh. Oh, my God. Special, something special rally for the Austrians. Oh, my God. Seven. Well, I got a whole bunch of routed cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a few, yeah. Yeah, so I've got, uh, so it's within Keys, range they, of Haddock. They they need so to be Haddock's within range here. of their commander. Yep, so. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. It's a good thing he routed with them, right? Yeah, that was genius move on your part. Yeah, so that's those guys, these guys, these guys, one, two, three. Um, I don't think these guys are part of the same one. Let me flip them over and see. They might be with the other guys. Nope, they're part of Haddock's group. Yeah, that's it. Now yep. the, the the updated and one has these guys are as well. But the one the, the special results in the game are that's a uh, uh, limited activation. What's a limited activation? The special result in if you look at the special results chart in the game. What? 
Well, we're, we're using the, the other one. So. Yeah, we're using the updated one for third edition. Yep. Right? Oh, yes, yes. We're using the printed ones, not the ones in the Vassal it. module. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, so... If only I knew how to do Vassal programming, then maybe I would fix it. But I don't. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of people to roll for, so let's get cracking. So we'll roll for this chap over here. It's actually uh, kind of handy that your your commander routed back there with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The rest of the guys are left out out in a lurch, but you know, somebody's yeah, but, happy. Man, you know, yeah. you should have run with me. That's yeah. what I'm saying, boys. All right. So, um, yeah. So we'll roll for this guy. He's half dead. So that's going to be a it's gonna be modifier. plus twenty five then. Yeah. So it's a total of plus twenty five. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Thirty nine. That's not good enough. Oh, um, no, do not, they keep running away? They keep running. It okay. is. A, he doesn't lose another One, strength two, point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, oh, we've got even more guys back here. We just. I got people <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, this whole friggin' command is running away. Okay, we'll roll for this guy here before we forget about him. I kept trying 71. to tell David that. Okay. So he's seventy-one. Probably good enough. Yep. All right, uh, and then we'll roll for the stuff. Uh, well, we'll roll for these other guys. We'll save Haddock for the very bitter end. So we'll roll for these chaps. 68. Hey, what do you know? They're feeling a little bit better about their well, life, Well, And the too. really nice part about this, where it's really valuable, is that you could, during the rally phase, actually get some of these guys out of shake it. Yeah. You know, they actually make it two steps back if the dice are nice. Right. All right, we'll roll for these chaps over here. Uh, okay. uh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll roll for these guys here. He's he's not half dead. He's just shaken. 59. And being shaken is a minus 10? Uh, yep. Okay, so he should be fine. Wow, he's completely happy. Yeah. I didn't know that was possible. Well, all right. It's... Then, then we'll roll for Haddock. 38. Now he's a plus 8 to the modifier. So that's going to become a a 46. And then being routed, Say... did you say, is minus 10? Well, no, no. So routed is 15. Oh, okay. And and then the commander being minus eight means that really you're only at plus seven. Okay. And then you're in the trees, which may help. Well, so it's, but I'm a 35. Oh, so being in the trees does something? Yeah, it's a minus five. So, so you were at plus 15, but minus eight, minus five. So you're only at plus two. So unless you're half dead, you're... You're basically looking at like a 37. And I rolled a you're 38. You're dead. Okay. So they pass. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. Just through a combination of of events there. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Should I keep them in one hex or should I? I know we had this issue with them in the other game where we were um, had them in two different hexes or something. Well, okay, so actually one thing that if to that, be clear about, If they about, route though, in the future, right? We split them well, up or something? Well, no, no, actually, just just because I wasn't paying close attention there, uh, rallying is done individually. individually. So the other unit would need to roll. Oh, also. okay. All right, so let me roll for the other guy then. So the top unit passed, the bottom unit also passes. Yeah. So in that case, they can stay together. Okay. If by chance they had both failed, they would actually have to end up in different hexes. Okay. In well, other the, words, the if only, the other guy failed, he'd, time... he'd run away, of course. But if they no, both no, no, failed, no. they if, both split if they up. They both then. failed. They yeah. would end up being in different hexes. The only time a stack can stay together is on that first route away. Right. And then at at the point of rallying, at that point, they can't stay in the same place together. Interesting. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why it is the way it is. Okay, cool. All right. 
Uh, and then everybody else is out of the range of the commander. Right. Well, it was still a very productive special event for you, wasn't it? Well, I would like one where the photon torpedoes drop down from the Enterprise, Ooh, but... Oh, yes, yes. When, I think uh, I need to roll something more than just a zero for that. Dawn had a B-52 at the Battle of Colon. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Was that my roll? That was your roll. That role. was your roll. It was my genius roll. I got nobody to blame but myself. All well, right, that's well, one, one for, for us you. now. One for us now. So is uh, has Zeton's guys all gone now? We're all done over here. I, all and right. also my uh, my guys under, whatchamacallit. Oh, uh, Tres Trescow? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's all you yeah. now. Oh, shit. Well, now I need to actually do what I'm doing. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I guess we will go ahead and do Ponvitz just because got to do something and he is two four six eight ten too far from the king so he'll roll to put himself into activation i will not bother flipping him over because i know that he's okay uh interesting since that guy's shaking he's kind of useless uh nobody's disordered everyone's in command uh no one can shoot so we're not going to worry about shooting just yet and um, 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 um. i guess i will advance that's going to be one two three four that'd be entertaining but i'm not sure if it's a smart idea one, two, do that and then these guys are going to go one, two. And these guys are going to go one. So here's my question. This is Sunken What's Road. That? So Oh, geez, I keep having a hard time seeing those. Yeah. So, I mean, he, okay. he could All move right. it, All but right. he'd just have to make a disorder check. Okay, so end. he was here. Right. So, yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so that's fair. All right, so he'll roll a disorder check. He's all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get the TARDIS, go to the afterlife, and have a, have a word with Rick Barber. <laughs> Beautiful map, but just... Make the sunken roads a little bit more. Little more. So just could you get a black pen out and just fleck a little black in there? That would have been nice. Yeah. But oh well, I guess one one ought not to speak ill of. So all right, well that's it for for those guys. We are taking forever to make progress here, but that's just how baseball goes. Uh, so Eric, you. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's another one for you. Another one for me. All right. And let's see. I got another cavalry unit back over this way that didn't move because there wasn't much bloody point in it. I guess I'll go ahead and move them just for laughs. That guy is actually finished because he's moved. Um, I oh, guess I'll go ahead. this guy's finished too, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess we will do, um, Meineke the Muffler Man. Okay. Um. He's definitely in it, command. Doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, he's definitely in command. Yeah, so rolling was a complete waste of time. Um, I don't... Let's see. Is that one of his guys? God, I can't see. So you got one, How did two, I get so three, old? four... 
Looks like he's yeah. got four units that are part we, of. Was his. that you laughing back there, David? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Because I think we two. were talking about this, weren't we, David? Because <laughs> my oh, my gosh. friend Robert, we've been friends since high school, and then we were all talking about when everyone graduated from high school, and you and Mr. Minure graduated. Oh, just same just, year. Yeah, same Six year. Years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's sad for me to say that, or maybe sad for you to hear that I was two years old when you graduated from <laughs> high school. So, yeah, my my very first job in which I had employees reporting to me in the professional world, um, uh, my boss told me I needed to hire some engineers. I said, okay, great. So I started getting these uh, these resumes from the uh from hr and i look at this resume and this guy reported for work as a lineman at pacific bell the month i was born oh my god <laughs> and i'm like okay so let's be really clear here i'm not sure which of us is supposed to address the other as sir <laughs> Because I may be your boss, but you're old enough to be my dad. Right. right? So it's like, uh, fortunately, the two of us got along great, and it wasn't a problem, but it was definitely a very strange sort of reaction. Like, oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, so I think, uh, David, it's your roll. Okie dokie. Roll. Where's the dice? There's the dice up there. That's what another one for you guys. Have? It's almost like the good guys are just mopping the table up, except yeah. we need to roll f higher numbers. Higher numbers, I mean, right. Other than, other than that, everything's great. Uh, um, all right, well, we'll go ahead and do uh, old uh, Shawnach, uh from Penavir's group. And, uh, and I will go ahead. And these are... Sunken roads, those two hexes, uh, and these three hexes. So yeah. this is clear, this is clear, this is clear, this is yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, what we call no, no bueno por caca. So, all right. Well, then if I did that, then they've all spent two. And oh, these guys have spent four. Oh, I'm sorry. It is four for cavalry. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. All right. So that's that's good enough for me. All um, right. Uh, so that's that, and now it's back to me for a roll. Oh, there's and a big number for there, you. That's what I wanted. Gonna keep those Austrians <laughs> from moving. Cheesy bastard. All right. Uh, all right. So then that's gonna be Norman, and uh, we'll roll. He's not gonna do anything crazy, but we'll go ahead and roll him. And we're going to do um, one, and we're going to keep eyes over on those uh, light cavalry. You think they're cute? Oh, I think they're adorable. Oh, they are. They are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, then, is that all the Prussians? I'm looking back across the way. Yeah, I don't think there are any Prussian commands left. So, Eric, it's your roll. Okay, here we go. Roll high. Oh, we get a special thing for you guys. Uh, that's Zero free, combat, free combat segment for the good guys. Interesting. Yep. So, fire or close combat. Fire or close combat. So, um, uh, well, David... Um, Certainly, you've got cavalry in a position to do close combat if they wanted to. And they're all in command. Yeah. So that's probably more useful than anything I'm going to do with just some fire combat. Yeah, otherwise you've got fire combat over here potentially with... Oh, with the Grenzers, yeah. but I mean, that's a big deal, yeah. right? So I'm having a hard time believing that's the highest and best use of this special. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, five stacks I can see easily who could choose to charge if they wanted to. 
five, uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Well, no, I only see four stacks, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All five of stack. those could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All five of them could. I'm not saying you should, just saying you could. <laughs> Come on, David. What, you're on a roll. What, um, yeah, I, I, what does shaken do to? Uh, shaken uh, means he, first of all, he can't react. So right. There's nothing he can do. He just sits there and takes whatever you get him. And he's at minus five CV when you actually hit him. Yep. It, it also means he's at plus 10 when he does his morale check, his defender morale check. And if he fails it, he routes before the combat even happens. So, I mean, Shaken is exactly what you want to see in somebody you're about to charge. Yeah. Okay. That's like a sorority girl yelling, I'm drunk. I mean, it's just, it's, okay, that was tacky. That I'm was very, that. very inappropriate, Michael. Thank you very much. I For someone who's got daughters, twice. I'm sure, I'm sure. But she's not in a sorority. <laughs> Yeah, so you know better than to let her enter one of those, I'm sure. I certainly do. Good heavens, yes. So um, so you really could um, charge that one completely without concern. Right. And uh, then, obviously, the other guys could do their charging however they wanted to do them. Um, I'd probably charge left to right. I mean, the only I mean, question is, is do you feel like charging with those guys that are facing south, or do you not want to be exposing your flank as you're charging? You don't have to charge with all of them by any stretch of the imagination. Right. I'm even, I'm not even real happy with the, what kind of odds I can get just with the other two. The next really? two. I'm only going to get two to one. One's coming uphill. I guess I'm getting... Uh, well, I don't know what PRA looks like back here, if he's any good, but we got a pretty good idea how good this guy is. And we also got a pretty good idea your guy's better. So you're right. You got minus two, and it's only two to one. So it's not super odds. Yeah. But, um, I mean, to a certain extent, I mean, two to one's already a benefit to you. Eh, I don't know. You're right. That one's, eh, okay, marginal. Th this one probably is kind of um if, go. I, I just don't know about the prince albert chevalegers whatever that is but chevalegers you know yours are good and you know what the hell yeah, yeah, let's let's it's only electrons it's only <laughs> electrons that's the spirit there you go. Um, well, make your check. See if your guys step off right. or not. So we'll check this one here. Let's see. If they go. Yeah. No, they're no, not. Oh no. Let's oh see geez. If it's a right, well, something. They might, but they still might. Yeah, that's a, that was a B. So that was. Uh... Morale check B zero seven. If it's stacked with Luna, it passes. Otherwise, re-roll with a plus five. All right, plus five. So that's going to be a 32. I'm sure that's, they pass. That's going to be good enough. Yeah. Mm, what about the next one? Next one. No. Boy, going the to be worst roll possible. Shaken. All right, so the whole stack is shaken, which means now they're the ones who are yelling, I'm drunk. <laughs> or I'll shake. They are not going. Oh, On the they... other hand, boy, they got a lot of friends. So, you know, they're in a lot less danger than they would be otherwise. All right. So... Especially because you were smart enough to keep another row behind. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll All right. How... So you could choose to charge down up, you know, up the hill, in which case you don't have to worry about the minus two, or you could stay down low and but whatever. You're all good. The defender can't do anything about it. The yep. defender needs to roll a defender morale check. It's going to be minus 10 or plus 10. Yeah, sorry. I pass. You pass. All right. So then the attacker is, what's his printed value? Plus five. So it's going to be plus six, plus seven then total. 
Defender is going to be at minus three, so it looks like it's going to be plus ten. Why am I minus three? I've got a because minus. Because you're, you're shaken. So that's minus five, but I yeah. got a plus three. So wouldn't oh, I be plus at minus three, right. two? Right. No, you're right. Yeah. You're, you're minus two. All right. So the attacker was uh, seven, and you're minus two, so it's plus nine. It's one to one. One yep. to one plus nine. One to one plus nine. Oh, All right, so gonna that's going to be 12 and 1 to 1, yeah. So that's a uh, 1 and 3R. Okay. So I, If one, I'm looking at that correctly, correct? I believe yeah. I believe you are. Yeah, that sounds right for the top of the 1 to 1 column. So no disorder on the attackers. Uh, the defender takes three hits and routes. All right. Oh, come on. Ah, what was that? So, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think the five, defenders six. have left yet. Get out of there. <laughs> what the heck? One, two, three, four, five, six. Where did he go? He's back here behind the woods, right? He just went straight back. One, two, oh, three, oh, four, okay. five. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh, actually, Fair enough. One, three, four, five, six. He's actually in the woods still. Didn't get clear of it okay. yet. Okay. Well, he goes. He goes six, or is moving. He goes back six. Six. Okay. Just it's six, no matter what his movement is. Okay. All right. All right. And we got a bunch of people signing in. Hexes to and soldiers. Greetings and hex to hex. Evening. Welcome to colon. You're watching okay. the Austrian right wing cavalry collapse. That's what we're gonna title this episode. I think that's a safe. Uh, yeah, description. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, the uh, attackers advance into the hex. They've got somebody in their zone of control, so there is no pursuit. Uh, they've taken one increment, but they're not disordered. So basically, we're done with with that attack. The other attack obviously never happened because of the shaken status, and that's that for that special activation. And then, Eric, was it you who rolled that, or was it David who rolled it? Um, I think I I think I rolled me. that. Oh, no, David rolled or, that, yeah. Or, no, is it? No, no Eric rolled a zero. Eric rolled, rolled a zero, zero four. four. Yeah. All right, so roll again then, Eric. Here we go. A zero two. Zero two. We just got all Other the Other player picks one of our commands, which may be finished, except all of our commands are finished, so it's irrelevant. So just roll again. Okay. 45. All right. All right. Well, that is a valid me. one. So you get an you get an activation there. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, what you do get, I do? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like I'm well, gonna get two or three activations this turn. How awesome. Let me just say that the the zero two. Okay, other player picks one of our commands. It may be finished. So it means he can they does that mean they could actually get an extra activation? I, well, okay. First of all, we should look. But I think that that is not what it means. I believe what it means, and here I am paging through to look, that... It says, if he fails both rolls, the command is marked as finished and may not be activated. I mean, I think the implication it's, it's is It's command it, confusion. So it's the same thing you did to me. Remember, you picked my I guy? I know. But it, it Absolutely. You could pick one that can be finished. If you picked one that can be... Does that mean we roll twice and get command confusion? No, 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 no. I don't... It, it doesn't say you can pick one that has already been finished. Yes, it does. Where? I mean, an unactivated command of the player who did not roll this special result. Other resolve. players pick one of your commands, which may be finished. No, no, no. No, that's what that's it says the, on the chart, but that's, that's the summary. Yeah. But what it means to say is the command that gets picked may end up being finished based on this event, based upon okay. some die rolls. Yeah. But the actual command confusion on page nine says the player who did not it's roll this unactivated. special result okay. picks an unactivated command. And so in that case, it's moot because right. there are right. no unactivated commands. Okay. Right. 
No, I was just uh, th that was confusing the way you're it's right. You, the it's it's kind of like how the how headlines are. You know, sometimes the language gets so compressed it actually doesn't make any sense. Yep. So yep. Yeah. Uh, so you've got an activation there, sir. How exciting. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to try to, I, I mean, I'll have uh, my light, my the rest of my cavalry over here do something. Um, everything is falling apart very rapidly, so I'm not sure what they can do. And all my guys are probably complete and utter garbage. So, um, hmm, hmm. And you've got guys, oh my gosh. Hmm, interesting. Well, we could try to do something. <laughs> so I, I'll roll for this guy, although I don't think it matters, right? But here we go. Yeah, he's active for what it's worth. So what okay. do we want to try to do? Wait, was this M you're doing? Yes. Uh, yeah. More Morocco. Mor yeah, what? how do you pronounce a name like that? All right, fair enough. Very carefully. I, I should spend more time in Czech so yeah. I can learn how to pronounce these names. All right. So, well, we're going to find out how good these Prince Albert Chevaliers are, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and they can go three. All right. So I'm going to move... I'm going to move one of them up. And I've got to move within two of you in order to trigger your counter charge. Is that correct? Or reaction charge? That's right. Charge? Okay. All right. So he's going to move up here and he's going to turn. All right. And then this guy is going to go here and he's going to turn. And... And Dodge D is going to stay out of harm's way. He's going to turn. All right, this could be fun. Potentially. Um, oh, wait, and I've got more people. But I have to have a line of sight to the target. Yeah. Okay. So that means if I wanted to, I'd have to stack people up if I'm hitting somebody. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you can't. You can't split a stack. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So I'd have. I could put that guy there, and we'll throw Nandajdi in just for fun. Um, let's go ahead and bring this guy up and turn him that way. Um. This poor bastard is in a terrible pickle. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We got to do something. We can't just. Stand there and let you beat us nope. up. No, nah, you probably need to do something, even yep. if it's going to be yep. hopelessly horrible. Yep. So I'm going to take some of this, these heavy cavalry down here. And let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Six. Okay, we'll turn that guy and have him face that way. We'll leave these two guys here at the end to protect the line. At least we have got backup for what little it's worth. Do well, we it's else? worth something for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, how about we move an increment there? 
And I don't know who's better. Maybe put them on the bottom. Oh, they're both. Well, actually, the, uh, the guy that's on top is slightly better. Okay. Oh, my people are horrible. Horrible. All right. Um, so that is that excitement for the movement part. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to initiate some close combats um, and see if I have any success with those. It could happen. Yeah, potentially. So who's going in or who's thinking of going in? Um, we're going to have, let's see. And I only have to stop if I enter the other guy's zone of uh, his front hexes, right? That's his right. Zone of influence. That's right. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll try this guy, this guy, and this guy. So for the first one, let's go ahead and roll, see what we get. Oh, my uh -oh. God. My people suck. Let's see what he is. 27. They and might he's... say that it's the die roll. That suck. Yeah. 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 All right. So he's shaking. No shaking. charge. That is a bummer. So he was so scared by the guys in front of him being shaken that he decided to be shaken too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So much for Prince Albert. Yeah. Well, uh, we can just yep. hope that he's more successful when it comes time to rallying. Let's go to this yeah, chap yep. here. All right. Yep. Yep. 30. Ooh, Let's see boy. Where, uh, what he's at. Is he better? Hey. Okay. He is. All right. So there's one. There we go. Okay. All right. And so then the next go one's ahead. got Nadazdi with him, so that's a good yep, sign. Yep. Here we go. 60. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy. Okay. All wow. right. Well. All right, so good times there. Uh, I'll, I'll take your word for it there. So for this chap mm -hmm. here, let's go ahead. He's going to go one, two, well, three. Well, I'm making it. Well, well, hold make on. Formation. All right. I, I, I'm turning one hex. Yeah, but as soon as, soon as he charges in fact even before he makes the first movement he can turn and do the defender reaction sure. so so, so he's gonna roll oh to i can't see. go there yeah yeah he's gonna roll to see if he is disordered he just rolled a uh, 90. He, he is clearly not disordered right all right so now you can move yeah so i have to I'm stop now saying, when i get here exactly yeah. that's right and so yeah, then, then this guy's going to come up and the other guy's got very little there. choice yep. so there you go oh, there's your there's your charge there so they both went forward one uh no he went forward two one two yes you're right so he went yeah. forward two he went forward one all okay. right so he went forward one so he's like four five six well he's got to make right. a morale check now to see if he stands absolutely quite right. so and he does. Which he does. All right. So it's six for that right um, hex of yours. Right. And what, and what do you got on the these left? Guys over. Okay. Um, that's going to be. be... Did, did you put them in the wrong order? I have no idea what the order is. No. That, I mean, you probably wanted the, the, the plus four up top. Oh, it's not the average of the two? It's, it's actually the. Um, it's the average of the top four strength points, but in this oh, case, okay. it's going to be the top unit. Okay. So it'd be four, five, six for the leader, seven for light cavalry, eight, nine for two hexes of movement, right? Okay. So it's nine there, and it was six on the other one. Nine and six is 15. 15 averages to eight, so it's eight. Okay. The defender is... Six, five plus one, so it's six. So it's plus three to the attacker. And then uh, I don't know plus, how many in plus two. Eight, eight to six is plus two. Eight to six plus two. Very good. And so you've got 20 increments attacking, 19 increments attacking. Yep. And he's got, and I think, seven, seven defending. So, so it's, it's two to one. Two to one, yeah. And I got two a. Two to one. Oh, plus, plus two? Two. Yeah, two to one with a plus two. Here we go. Oh, that's a big one for us. So that's going to be a no, nine. It's not. Oh my god! No. Because no, it's, it's a freaking zero. I hate you. 
Uh, you're going to hate him worse because it's three increments for both of you, and you've got to take that leader, leader check leader for check. your core, your wing leader. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, the, no. the Austrians are cursed tonight. Cursed. Well, not going great. All right, so what do I roll? I just roll one single, die? Single roll high if you want uh, him to live. A nine. Uh, well done. You, you he, take directions he, well. He parried the thrust with, uh, with his... Indeed. Here. Okay, so right. then how do I apply losses to the so, top units? So the first, the... yeah, the, the loss has to go to the unit with the, the largest unit. So in this case, obviously, the 7-7 seven, seven has to take the first hit. After that, you can divvy them up however you like. Because at that point, they're all the same size. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. yeah, you can just, just give one to each. All right. Oh, my gosh. Here, I was all excited. I have had a really no! good differential. I'm like seven exactly. plus two. I've got nine, Ooh. and no. No, it never works but, out that way. But no. So now we determine the order of effectiveness ratings of the three stacks. Okay. So that attacker stack is 27. That attacker stack is 15. Okay. And then that uh, defender stack is 36 because he's half dead, right? Right. Yep. So 36 rolls first because it's the highest number. And so he's going to round. There are no special results on type G. So uh, he loses another increment and runs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, then at least one unit needs to advance into the defender's hex and looks like he needs to adopt a northeast facing in order to be able to follow the retreating unit. He went into that hex first. So. Yeah. All right, so I... Change my facing, is that what you're saying? Yeah, Northeastern? yeah that's exactly okay. right. You have to adopt a facing to follow the retreating unit, and then you would roll for pursuit points. Seven. Seven pursuit points. Um, obviously, because of the path he took, you're only going to get one pursuit. Yeah, I'm not going but, to do a pursuit right, because so I don't want to end up um, where I would be <laughs> totally, going. totally. So you so. do need to roll to recall, however, and I pass. And you clearly did. All right, very good. So that's that, and uh, that was the end of combat. So, all right. So M is flipped. Okay. Well done. Well done. Um, so we've gotten. I. I Awfully close to the end of this turn, but we are at eleven. Yeah, we're at three hours central. into it. So yes, yeah. I I would so, understand if you'd want to take a break. Yeah, I I, I think so, especially because you know my employer probably expects I will be functional tomorrow, which you know I don't know why they think it's going to be any different Monday, but whatever. <laughs> um, so obviously we'll we'll probably mostly have a lot of Austrian activations a lot of them are going to be end turn activations so we can probably get through it pretty quickly so then we can just pick up from there um next week yeah is next week good for everybody uh yep 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 i am available yeah. i don't right. have anything going on either so. okay well, cool genius well maybe and... maybe my die rolls will be better than uh, something well they won't be much worse <laughs> Did, did that help? I'm not sure if that helped. Uh, it yes. Well, what can you do? I try yeah. to try to do what I can. Yeah, I was yeah. really I was really hoping I'd I'd have a little bit more excitement, but oh well. Uh, well you it's probably just as well. Just remember, excitement cuts both ways. I know, but at least yeah. I got one of your guys punched him in the no. nose and sent him. Absolutely. Back. You know what? So in my Battle of Luthen. Uh, of course, you know, you kind of get the general sense about how things are going. Right. But then, of course, it becomes the top of the hour, and it's time to start tallying up casualties. And 
the Austrians had lost 68 strength points and the Prussians had lost 33. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a two to one margin. That is not, not great. But really, as the Austrian, I felt like I was getting kicked around. So the fact that I'd managed to inflict 33 losses on the Prussians felt okay. Right. You know, it's kind of expectations there. So yeah, sometimes you're gonna you're gonna end up doing more damage even if you're if, even if you're getting kicked around a little. So all right, well, gentlemen, as always, a pleasure. Thanks to the audience for joining us. We did. I, I think I, I saw quite a few people joining. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for joining. We had about uh, eight watching at any given point in time. That's marvelous. So that's not bad at all. People obviously are tuning in for the witty banter. That's a witty banter, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 